I know, and I'm mad. Hello. 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 Hey, Hello. gamers. It's Sunday. We're here. Bell. That was me. Thanks Thank for the prime. Man. Thanks for. Yeah, this is, you know, it's like, it's like we're basically something to ourselves. You know, it's, a bit, mm -hmm. it's I don't know, it's, it's a bit weird. We're putting, we're paying Twitch, and we're putting money in the DS fund. Yeah, Maybe pretty much, pretty much. not. Pretty much. <laughs> like, um, I don't know. Like, I'm, it's a prime. Use. I'm, uh, it's a prime. I, we're a little rough today. Koiba's here, but he's in, he's not this place right now, but Koiba's in the Netherlands. Hi. Pog. Netherlands. We, uh, you know, <laughs> he, he came here on Friday. We had a, a nice cheeky evening in Tilburg, went to the PS plane, had some fucking drinkies and some bitter balls. You know, as you do, as you do. And uh, yesterday we went to Opti, had a nice little afternoon walking around, walking way too much in fucking Rotterdam. Went Rotterdam? Literally, it's good literally for you. took like the same route we took with you, Duke. Like went to the fucking cube houses, went to the fucking like, yeah, food court. Yeah, I saw, I saw, uh, <laughs> I was looking at freaking the Koiba's story. Did you just the, butt go to the, boats? Plug, the butt plug midget tour. And I was like, dude, dude. Fuck the that indoor market is still like one of my fondest memories with the fuck uh, the fucking strop <laughs> waffle. Yeah, yeah. Up yeah. This fucking is the international symbol for strop waffle. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, okay. gotcha. Um, yeah, it was a good time. We fucking went out to dinner at some like wing place and then just got fucking smashed. To be that honest, wing place was nice. That wing place is good. Yeah, it's dope as fuck. Really good, really good food. Uh, and then we just got fucking shit faced celebrating Opti's birthday, like belated birthday party. Dude, it was. He belated birthday, Opti. It was like. I mean, his, yeah, his birthday is like in. Yeah. February? So, yeah, like mm. something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, basically, it was an open bar, so like drinks were free pretty much all night until we went. Oh, until that yeah. place closed down, so we abused the fuck out of that. <laughs> who, that was good ass time. It's it good ass time. Hmm? Who was paying it? Opti. Uh, yeah, because Opti like rented the oh, revenue sure. and it just came with like a bar tab. They're like, okay, you can, you know, your guests can drink for, for you know, it's included until like a certain amount. From this and time to this time or whatever. We, ne we never we never got told that tap. we the tap, so we were, you know, just had free oh, drinks oh. on it. Hell yeah. And then after that... It means uh, you weren't drinking enough. <laughs> oh, no, we definitely were. Oh, we I like two bowls of wine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking were, holy shit. And at some point, we were like... It was funny because me and Koiba looked at each other and we were like, dude... I'm not really feeling drunk. Cut to us like 20 minutes later, going to the bar upstairs that wasn't like free because oh, the only th drinks that were free were like beer, wine, and and like uh, soft fancy. drinks, nothing fancy. So yeah. we like went upstairs to the to the other bar in the place, and it's like literally 50 minutes after we were like cut to us doing like fucking sambuca slash tequila shots and shit like that, and then suddenly and then we calling drunk. me from outside the bar like <laughs> the singing fire note song, <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude, it was fucking funny. They singing oh, songs for football team I don't like. Yeah, they really did. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm, I, listen, okay, a little back. Rang. Rotterdam, big Feyenoord supports. Me as an Ajax supporter, I will get fucking killed if I ever publicly say that I'm supporting their arch nemesis. And they started singing fucking Feyenoord songs, and I was out. I was like, hey, I'm gonna go for a smoke, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Um, it was a good ass fucking time, and then we went to some other bar, well, I and I think we went on to the gold grind in Overwatch too. Oh, Unbelievable! Nice, nice. No, we, like um, popping off. I think we got popping off like a soldier four? on Junker Town <clears throat> while in a call with you. Like, that's rough, buddy. Gamer, you didn't realize you called the man. She didn't tell me this. No, Sage. You were, no, you were fucking... probably inside. Like, for you, we I was singing final songs as well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was a good ass fucking time. I think we got home at like three to four. Oh, the mic didn't pick that oh, up. That's it. awkward. That's awkward. Oh, hate to see it. It's very awkward. That's painful now. Um, mm. But yeah, and we're going to the Efteling on Tuesday. It's Pog! 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 Dude, the Efteling's fucking awesome. <laughs> it's a good ass Get time. Get some kibbling for me. It's uh, me, Natty, Opti, and Corpse. We're going to go hit up the Efteling. We good ass time. Oh, yeah. uh, at some point, my doorbell will ring, by the way, because my food gets here, because it's way too late. But whatever. Uh, we'll deal with it. Any announcements before we get going? Time. Yeah. 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 Get Dutch. When, whenever we stream this week. Oh, true. Yeah, we need to fucking set that in stone. Okay, basically, I was thinking either like Wednesday evening mm -hmm. after my internship. Uh, I yep. think that'd probably be best. Yep. So, Wednesday evening, oh. made stream with Koiba, Pog, Dab. Mm. <clears throat> On Twitch or OnlyFans? Both of us. <laughs> The only well, difference between the two streams the, is the, the camera angle you get. 
<laughs> well, you can't do that if you're affiliate. You gotta have 24 hours. Yeah, you're not allowed exclusivity. to multi-stream. Yeah, no, but like the no, thing is, streaming. But it's different. Oh, it's, it's different content. Different content. Yeah. Because all that only oh. fans get is is a fucking you know crotch cam. That's all they fucking get. Fucking balls. <laughs> and the occasional hands that go either side and whatever yeah, exactly. else happens, you depending know. on how much we tip. Of course. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Nice. Um, so that'll be other... Wednesday. Uh, other than that, yeah. uh, other announcement. Um, uh, I. We, I think it, one of someone said it for me last time because I missed last week, but yes. just worth reiterating because still raising money on my channel for St. Jude and the next stretch goal because we hit the goal where I'm now going to run a call of the Nether Deep campaign on my pog, channel. Pog, pog, pog. Um, the next incentive, if we we're currently at five hundred and thirteen dollars raised, so if we get to seven hundred and fifty before the end of the month, then you guys uh, via a poll we'll put in the Dungeon Select Discord and the subreddit will get to choose which cast member you want to see as a player of the campaign. Well, with their choices being people who agree they have time for, like some players already are like I'm not gonna have time, so they're they're off the list. But the ones that have said they're interested, you don't get to know who that is until the end of the month. Nice. You could potentially be choosing which player is on there. So that's still happening. Or until the end of May, you could make it. So, can they, you can, can, you can they vote choose, against other people. You can choose who doesn't get to play. Yeah, Ooh. well, you're, you do both at the same time with your one vote. By voting <laughs> for someone to be on there, you're also trying to make sure someone doesn't get there. So. Are we allowed to campaign <laughs> for certain people not to be included? Sure. <laughs> that. And yeah, that's at seven hundred and fifty. And if we hit eight hundred and fifty dollars raised, then we're also gonna let the Dungeon Select community choose the race and class of one of the player characters. So Ooh. gonna be a good time. Ooh. They'll have full control over everything else, like backstory, subclass, etc. But race and class, you could potentially choose for someone, but we gotta gotta keep the cool. fundraising good. going. Oh yeah, oh yeah, good shit. Um I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I don't think I have anything else uh, to really over. say or announce. So unless anyone else has anything that they want to get off their chest. Uh, I should have regular streams returning as of next week because nice. I'm done redecorating my entire freaking room. Um, new podcast coming soon. TM, I, I think. <laughs> Lily Burst will be the first guest, but I'm not 100%. Nice. Exciting. And... Oh, uh, yeah, I, I officially got the first work in progress, like, art for the branding for the podcast, which is great. So. Oh, yeah. Good nice. shit. Good shit, good shit. Dope. Um, all right. Gang's all here. Look at us. We're all here. Because hey. you know, the last few sessions, we've us. had people like... Hey. Huh? Look at us. Look at us, guys. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Insert Paul. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> you Look at so us go, much. man. Look at us go. Um, Let's go. Last we left off, you were back in Eldilon. You ran some errands, did some, did some shopping and whatnot, and then got called for a meeting with General Kron, who you learned might be uh, compromised, as in uh, working for the uh, Saucy Spider Gang, as they have been dubbed. <laughs> the Night How much webs. do you hate that? I hate it a lot. <laughs> the Night Webs. What? Um... You got called to the keep, uh, and we're in a in a meeting room with her, uh, and learned some interesting things about somebody is trying to mess with Brooks, and causing a lot of shit. Trying to like using his like appearance, uh, combin uh, combining that with like a false persona he had concocted uh, in his in his in his past. Um, so that's something that is happening, and you're not really sure how or what, but she basically wanted to let you know that, hey, if you ever go to the kingdom, you might get fucked. Or, or Fairbrush footing, I mean, sorry. I guess that also includes the kingdom, right? Because that's, that's, yeah, it's their, uh, their colony. The Empire. Yeah. Um, she also, via putting a note on the table, informed you that there's uh, people listening in to, uh, to what you were discussing. And she then uh, made up this story of uh, you guys potentially maybe being interested in, uh, in, in buying some real estate in the city as an excuse to get you all out of the room. And as she escorted you to a house uh, just like on the edge of the residential area of the city. Um, <clears throat> and inside the house uh, was a Father Ackle, uh, who was the only person that Kron trusted enough to also have in on this when it comes to like the council as a whole 
And she basically spilled the beans. Like, yeah, um, uh, this this organization hit me up, and at first it seemed very innocent, but they've become more and more aggressive and more and more persistent, and now they're threatening her family. Uh, and they want her to to end Lazarin, basically. That's what it all uh, comes down to. And she refused, because um, she uh, just isn't in with that. Like, she... Basically, the way she told it was she joined because it all seemed relatively innocent and she had somewhat agreed with their vision on certain things. But uh, things took a turn. Their agenda shifted and uh, she does not feel aligned with that agenda anymore and wants out. But as soon as uh, she voiced that, suddenly they start threatening her entire family, her daughter uh, mainly. And uh, basically came clean with you guys and needed your needs your help to, to get out from from the, the grip that this organization has on her. Um, you guys concocted some kind of lie to kind of um, throw them off of your path, um, dropping information that you guys are headed east, potentially towards Ferber's footing to deal with this whole uh, Brook situation. But in reality, uh, once enough time passes, you're headed to. Silverkeep, and free, and with an attempt to free Valor, who has been uh, locked up there for a, a little while now. You then went, I think that you then went back to uh, the Friendly Giants, had a night's sleep, and uh, you awaken on the next day. So, we'll, uh, we'll uh, take it from there. Laura, it's now the 23rd. Uh, the first really? thing I would like to yeah, yeah. The no, session no, no. Was, it was only like 18th or something. We had a lot of days. Was it? Okay. Mm -hmm. It was all the travel. Oh, right, because we did it. A... Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. True. That was also a thing that happened. Yeah, you guys traveled uh, from all the way up north back to Eldilon. So that's, uh, that's a few days too. Yep. True, true, true. I would like to go to the Muddy Boat. You go to the Muddy Boat? I believe so. boat. The, in the, the morning? pub by the harbor? Early in the morning. Okay. I am probably downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, sorry, uh, not the muddy boat, weeping mug. Oh, the weeping mug. Okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is there? There are muddy four boat? taverns in this place, and two of them are very similar. You're a Polly Brooks. <laughs> She's just sat downstairs. <laughs> I mean, not horrifically early, but earlier than normal. I mean, I've seen you sleep until mid-afternoon, so... Ah, but we didn't really drink last night, so... That's fair. I have... Some things I need to sort. I will be back at some point probably not that long can i come i'm really bored <laughs> i hate not having to sleep <laughs> it's so boring the others will be up very shortly I no going... it's been hours i'm driving myself crazy i hate my own head this is what it's like to have a cat that can talk <laughs> <laughs> i've been waiting down here for hours please After everything we learned yesterday, I need to go talk to someone. Someone I know? Yes. I should definitely come with you then. About the information that's out there about this that isn't known to Kron. I had actually some questions about it that I've been meaning to ask you when the others went around. Well then, can we... Fuck, fine. Just come with me. I We should be right here. Oh, I love doing things. <laughs> Given everything we found out yesterday, you are in a shockingly good mood. What's the point in being in a bad mood? I'm not going to change it's anything. less irritating. Only if you're miserable. It's less irritating. 
Uh, I assume that you will wait until we are at least out of earshot of the tavern before asking well, yeah. questions. Okay. Yeah. Don't questions away. You said there were two people who knew? Before traveling, yes. Your employer. And who else? Someone that I was close with and I'm not anymore, but also is not the type of person to make this a problem. And on top of that, knows my actual name and could just frame me here where it's much more likely to work. Is the woman you wrote that letter to? I would much rather not discuss that letter. No. I don't want to make you talk about something you don't want to- Well, no, I, that's a lie. I do want to do it. But last time I did it, everyone got real mad at me. And that's a headache I don't want to relive. So... Can I just gently push you to tell me? We were very close. And <laughs> then we weren't. And that's all you really need to know. I already knew that! That's super obvious. I'm not exactly good at this whole fucking talky feely shit. And I am? You're the one who seems to pry into everyone else's feelings. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm good at it. I mean, I'm good at finding out things. I'm not good at making sure that they're not mad at me afterwards. That's a different skill set entirely. That I do not possess. It. I. Before I moved out here, was somewhat comfortable in where I was. I had people around me that I trusted, and that was a mistake. How? How? Yeah, how is that a mistake? <laughs> you mean why? Sure. Because, like most people inevitably do, they acted against that. They, like, stole from you or something? We were very touchy about that. No, but... It just wasn't a good time, okay? Sure. Okay, but can you tell me like a little bit more? <laughs> like, just like a, a little more. I am going to walk you to the docks and throw you into the ocean if you carry on. <laughs> that kind of sounds fun. I'm just go like, whoo. I can't breathe. Well, I don't need to breathe, so... I wonder how different it would be to the lake under there. Probably really gross. From what I know of shipyards, probably a lot of mud. <clears throat> Do you think I float better than you guys? Because of like... Air elemental stuff? It depends whether like... or not I weigh down your ankles. <laughs> Nah, you wouldn't do that. I mean, what's the point? It's not going to do anything. I can get out of that really easily. Might keep it's... you occupied for long enough to stop asking me dumb fucking questions. Nope. <coughs> Mr. DM, how far away from me are we from the muddy boat? Oh, that's like a 15 uh, minutes. The weeping mug, uh, sorry. 15 minutes walk. Uh, as you kind of like have this conversation, you, you enter the trade district and it's early enough in the morning where you can see people like shops and stuff setting up. Um...
Any of you... Uh, just roll a perception check, actually. Fuck it. Both of you. I don't win these. Cast might, but I don't. Can I assist Cast instead? Sure. <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh, hell yeah. Perception... Plus seven, so twenty-two. Um, what language do you speak? Elvish. Common, thieves can, under common. Okay. Um, you hear a very loud voice just yelling a combination of common, but also a language you don't initially understand. Uh, and as you kind of like try to like pinpoint the the the, loca the, the where the location where the sound is coming from, you can see a goblin absolutely having a go at two city guards, uh, yelling a cacophony of accusations and curse words, and then some some goblin uh, language that you just don't understand, but the man seems very upset. Oh, that guy seems mad. Astute. Wow, what? I don't know. It kind of sounds fun, though. Well, why don't we see if he's mad after we've... <laughs> Fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a bit more pressing. Mm -hmm. So you arrive at the Weeping Mug. Uh, as you go inside, uh, you can see some of the patrons that, that spent the night there are, are waking up, having some, having some breakfast. Uh, in the usual booth, uh, closest to the bar, you can already see <clears throat> the... Uh, this 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 dark-haired, uh, black-eyed uh, uh, individual with the very pale skin, uh, accompanied by his trusty Loxodon pal that he's always with. Uh, and as you two enter, he just kind of throws a nod your way, but doesn't really engage or, or like motion you over or anything. Just kind of looking at you. Hello again. Going forward. You're so fucking loud. Yeah, it's fine. I do this all the time. Yes, you do. She really likes to draw attention. Noticed. Depends. Depends. What mood I'm in. So, what can I do for you this time? Actually, I was the one who wanted to come and see you. Really? She's just. I just wanted a... to walk. She's in a mood where <laughs> she's instigating chaos. As she does. It's a habit. I'm assuming that we can't talk super freely here. Um. You know, like gesture to, to the Loxodon and the Loxodon would like walk towards you, close the curtains. You can now. Are they magic curtains? <laughs> Are you asking him this? Do I hear the sounds from the other side of the curtains? Still? No. As soon as the curtains close, like all the sound from outside is just gone. Okay. Spooky. So they, they, you get the sense these are some, some in some way enchanted, so that it just like no sound goes goes in, no sound uh, goes out, kind of thing. Ignoring the fact that you dangled my alias as a little bit of a look what I can do. Mm -hmm. There's a bounty on that alias in Ferber's footing for murder with a description that looks oddly like me for murders no, that, that happened while I was in this city. So you have an alibi. Not only that, but the only people that know what I look like in that name, to my knowledge, are <clears throat> you, anyone else within our little friendship group that knows. Mm -hmm. I'm going to insinuate something. I'm not insinuating at all, because the problem is, if anyone... An elder on wanted to frame me. I knew what I looked like. They would have used Brooks. 
it would have been much more effective and uh, would true. have much less deniability. Mm -hmm. Which leads me to a problem because I don't think anyone who knows, even even if I were to say that someone in our little surrounding group did this, I don't think they would be stupid enough to not just use my actual name. Well, that and going against my wishes uh, wouldn't end very um, end very well for them. So, and again, if I thought it was the uh, problem that we're planning to head out and deal with. It would be my real name. Mm hmm So the only people who know me by that name and not my real name and have also seen my face were on the ship that I travel here on. All right. Well, that is as far as you're aware, right? I haven't used the name anywhere else since... I procured those documents, so... Mm-hmm. So what is it me... you're, uh... Here... I'm, I'm sensing some kind of request incoming. We have someone looking into this in an official capacity. Mm-hmm. Now you want I... someone to look into this in an unofficial capacity. Unofficial capacities open a lot more doors and a lot less questions. True. Well, given that, you know... You're the latest member of this traveling group of troubadours. I suppose uh, it's in my best interest a little bit to make sure that everything surrounding you doesn't end up stabbing me in the back, so... Don't have many connections when it comes to that side of uh, the continent, but... I can... I can put some feelers out, maybe uh, find out who was on that ship, and maybe see if I can learn a little, like, <clears throat> what is it you're being accused of? Multiple murders. Nice. Um, like I said, the connections on that side of uh, the continent for, for our organization are a bit scarce, but I can see what I can do, see if I can find some information on that side as well, give you a little more detail of, of what exactly is going on, and um, if I learn anything useful or interesting, I'll, I'll let you know. One more thing, and... This may come across as accusatory, and I hope that you can understand that it's not malicious in intent. In intent. Mm -hmm. I had assumed up until this point that you had got your information from a certain someone going through some personal belongings of mine and finding those documents. Is that the case, or did you find out in other means? Well, you know who we work for. She has her ways. So she told you? Mm-hmm. Okay. That is in no way a criticism, that is. I would like to be aware of the potential sources. Understandably so. Um, don't know how she got it, but like I said, she's a very powerful Archway, I'm sure she'll have her ways of finding things out, especially with her being naturally very trickstery. I wouldn't know? put it past her to be listening right now. Oh, she probably is. I just wasn't me. Wouldn't, however, have. She didn't strike me as the type that would think framing would be a funny practical joke, so I didn't assume that. Well, it depends on who the victim that was is. That an option. In your case, maybe. no. Somebody else, maybe. Potentially. Mm -hmm. Somebody on her bad side. No, but, um... Wasn't us. Wasn't her. And I'll see what I can do when it comes to digging up some information for you. What do you want in return? Well, 
I already got what I want. You're a part of us. So next time a job offer comes your way, maybe remember that I helped you out in this one and uh, not think too hard whether or not to accept said job offer. I will keep it in mind. Very good. Anything else? Not unless you have anything either to inform or ask about what we're going to do next. Um, well, I gave you these maps, or I gave her the maps. I'm assuming that's, that's going to be your next destination. Yeah, they're super accurate, by the way. Thank you. And uh, you do remember my little favor I asked of you while you're there? We do. We intend to set out once we've given that organization a head start, a head start chasing our goose that we send the other direction. So you're going to be in town for what, a couple more days to give them some time to piss off? Mm. Probably another night. Probably mm. not more than that, but mm. I would just like them to be more than a day's travel away to when we arrive. Yeah, that makes sense. It's smart. Um, in the meantime, if you're gonna be here, I might have I might have something for you to do. Nothing directly related with uh, with our you know our circus, but um, surely you oh noticed the ranting and raving goblin outside. I did. He is did. the owner of uh, the cracked vial, the apothecary shop in the city, and well, it's not a part of our click, but definitely um, a, a, a valuable asset in the form of we have some some high-profile goods that we need secured and, and stored. He'll take a payment and store it in a storehouse uh, without questions asked. Um, he came to me uh, because apparently people have been breaking into this exact storehouse for the past few nights, but there's no trace of uh, any doors being forced open, there's no trace of, of windows being forced open, but things are di things are disappearing, and I think he's, um, you know, guards aren't to help, he has, he has security that he pays, but because there's no signs of forced entry, he might, he now thinks that maybe it's the security guards that are doing it, and he, I, I think he mentioned something about, you know, wanting to pay, find some people to look into it, and Find out whoever is trying to steal his things, and there's some some monetary monetary reward involved. If you're you know busy for the day. Oh, I was losing my mind. I'm so bored. This will be fun. <laughs> is <clears throat> is there anything of ours currently stored there that would make us refrain from involving the others? No. When we learned that. That storehouse was being broken into or robbed. Uh, we we moved all of our stuff out of there just in case. So we should, in theory, be fine if we want to bring our other circus along. Yes, of course. It's just a uh, local shopkeep has a problem with break-ins. Guards aren't doing w what they're supposed to be doing. So you know, band of mercenary swings in and helps them out. Business as usual. Sure. We'll uh, have a word on our way past, make sure that it's understood that this is a favor from you, and then mm -hmm. that that shouldn't be mentioned when we come back with our friends. Very good. All right. Well. I had best take this one outside before she begins to rouse her knees and bang on the table. Probably a smart idea. And we'll speak at a later date. That's her. Bye. I gotta quickly check because this food is taken for fucking ever. Mm -hmm. it's just, it's like, mingle, talk among yourselves. Did did you think Watch it was the me? food's been there for like thirty minutes, just sitting outside Dutch's door? Yeah, they did like contactless <laughs> delivery or something outside. And then Dutch's phone apartment. didn't go off. He yeah. opens the door. There's just some homeless guy curled over in the fetal position, oh. with wing sauce down his lips. Yikes! Let's hope not. I'm getting fucking scammed, bro. 
Bro. Feels nasty, bro. My guy ordered from like a. Has anyone seen that TikTok of the guy that did a five star restaurant in London? That was it's actually from his own kitchen, like, like microwave shit. bullshit. Oh yeah, I've seen that, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. It's no. technically not legal. Technically not no, legal. No, it's not. It's like, right. um. <clears throat> oh. Okay. We go see Goblin Man. Yeah, you're. He is still just, just yelling, ranting, raving. Throwing out a, a combination of, of cuss words that like just flows very very like it's kind of impressive how easily he he like swaps from common to goblin to just yell a bunch of insults at the nearest blue sentinel guard. It's it's quite impressive, really. <laughs> is um is everything okay? No. What's what's wrong? Well. I'm being robbed, and these guards aren't doing anything about it. My security is probably the one doing it. I have no evidence, and my shit's being stolen. Is the guard just stood there, like, taking this man's abuse, or is the guard fucked off? The guard just, like, kind of, as he noticed you two, like, approaching and engaging conversation, just, like, slowly backed up out of there. <laughs> That's fine. Um. So. We we can probably help with this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a mutual friend. What does that mean? A friend of ours has asked us to assist you in this, as if we can. A friend who may or may not occasionally rent some of your space. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yes. Um. Well, I I was I was about to um go to, to all the bounty boards and put a put a little thing on for to, to look for people. So yeah, if you want to help, I, I'll pay. Do you have any of those to hand? Uh yeah, and he, like whips out uh just like a note that's just like um it it just says uh, supplies have been disappearing from uh my my storage house by the docks, paying one hundred gold to whoever finds the culprits. Find me at my store for more information. Signed, Ori Wart. We're going to go get some friends of ours. Okay. And then come back. Mm hmm This conversation never happened. Okay. We don't have a mutual friend. We just found the notice on the bounty board, and the rest of our friends don't know anything else. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I'll, I'll be at my shop. Then we shall see you shortly. Okay. And he'll, like walk by and just like this random blue sentinel that just turns the corner had nothing to do with any of the conversation or previous conversations just like fuck you and just like <laughs> go to his shop poor guy my man's trying to get arrested out <laughs> and, like, and the guard just like what do i do it's <laughs> confused <laughs> to shit i'm i'm gonna snatch the the poster out of brooks hands you and kind of try. like i'm gonna try then <laughs> i roll a just roll a side of hand check i guess do I need to roll against it? Uh, yeah, just also do sleight of hand, I guess, and we'll just see which one has the uh, the upper hand here. Who has the Ooh. faster reflexes? Yeah. Okay, dirty 20. Not 20. <laughs> oh! That was some bullshit! <laughs> Cast just like... Psh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, crumple it up a little bit, and then take one of my daggers and like, stab the top so it looks like we ripped it off a board. You could have just asked, you know. Nah, that would have wasted time. <laughs> Did you think it was me, by the way? Not the little thing. I assumed that you were either directly or indirectly the reason that he knew. No! I assumed you might have told our uh, other common friend who... Nah, I mostly just talk about myself. That does not surprise me, actually. <laughs> He's not wrong. We get along really well. Diagon. I mean... I assume even if you had told Diagon about that particular note, that Diagon isn't really the type to tell him. <laughs> yeah. You, however, are... No, I would never... In, in the nicest I wouldn't way possible. share it. I would want to keep it to myself. That's useful for me. 
Why would I make it useful for other people? That's just well, no, that complicates it's not it. Useful. <laughs> um, because hey. I might get arrested. Ah, how bad could that be? He's yeah. probably fine. I don't uh, know. I've never been arrested. <clears throat> I don't know what happens. <laughs> Soon. Um, you make your way to the to the friendly giant, uh, and you'll see your uh, other homies already sitting downstairs, uh, starting their day. As we walk through the door, just like so, they get the handcuffs right. <laughs> <laughs> they get these manacles up. Oh, hey, guy. Oh, you two been on a nice little morning escapade? Yeah, we all went to the the boards. The what? The the boards with all the Kes, papers on them. Kes harassed me for anything to do because apparently so she bored. can't deal with a lack of attention or mm -mm. external Don't we have a lot of planning to do? No. <sighs> uh, much, not really. We'll just, we need we'll to give, just wing it. We need to give a day for certain people to clear out of home and fuck off mm -hmm. down the road after a wild goose chase. So we want them to be a day's travel away before we go do our thing so that even if they get a magical alarm, they're not going to be there before we're done and fucked off. Unless they can teleport. In which case, we're fucked regardless of what we do, and they mm -hmm. might as well just teleport into the bedroom while I'm fucking sleeping with my dick out. Why into your bedroom? <laughs> That's you true, you did. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just used to it being me that gets stabbed, so... That does track. Okay, they so, will just teleport into a Lazarus bedroom while he's got his dick out. Exactly, thank you. I just signed so, to Kes, why do they all sleep with their dicks out? I'm confused. I don't know. I don't, oh, I don't also speak so You don't speak so Devin just says it anyway, it's just like, I don't. <laughs> I don't sleep with my dick out. Like, I just feel the need to clarify for no reason. It's because he doesn't want Onu to be exposed to it. He doesn't want Onu to walk past the bed and see that. I mean, yeah. Davian really sleeps under the sheets. Like, <laughs> he just sleeps, he on, sleeps on top of his bed, clothed. Yeah. So he That's smells so weird. terribly. No, because he washes more than Brooks does, That's so damn sure. True. No, he's always ready for action, right? He's he's ready to get up and go, always. Um, I'll have you know, Brooks washes frequently. I just don't feel the need to every morning be like, Mr. DM, Brooks is going to go please? to the wash Can basin and wash his face and body Wait, before he goes downstairs. No, the need to RP bath well, time is even... only when you're covered in monster viscera and it requires extra cleaning. That's when it's, you it's when you go to the bath to relax. <laughs> it is always I assume a good that there's time a tub to of RP water in bath the time with the boys, all right? <laughs> <laughs> like full baths, yes, but I assume there's like a wash basin in the room. Is it really a bath if yeah. you don't have any rubber duckies, though? Is it really it's a bath true. if you're not with the boys? I mean, true, <laughs> true. I really want Jax to make some rubber duckies. Oh, uh, invent rubber. But rubber duckies you don't are, invent like, rubber. It comes from something. trees. I know. That was the, that was the joke. That's the joke. That's the joke. <laughs> that is the joke. Oh, I said something wrong. I That's can fucking joke. leave right now. I can, uh... <laughs> I'm too hungover for this shit. <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Right, so you were down at the boards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's all the papers right. on it. Got this. The boards with all the papers on it. Slam it down on the Kess table. Kess went to a notice board and picked one at random because I don't fucking know anymore. Because she was bored. Yes. Because she was bored. Apparently and we're not leaving today. No. No, I thought we'd establish that. We can well, go no, instantly. Now, I'm just, you know, but... Uh, shouldn't we go over our plan? No, we can do it later. Honestly, Jax, it's not that I, important. I appreciate the sentiment. I think it might be best to do this so she can get it out of her system and then plan this evening. Besides, she's... as of right now, the plan is show up, kill everyone, and get him out and leave. That's it. I I just signed a kiss. Maybe maybe th that's a bad thing to say out loud. And I just go like this to Davian. <laughs> <laughs> I think what Dagon's trying to say is maybe that's a bad thing to say out loud. Oh, 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 whatever. We're in a brothel. It's not like anyone cares. It's not a brothel. <laughs> you know, we come here. You, you go. You go. No, 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 no. You go to a brothel to get laid. You come here to have a drink and then may or may not partake. Not everyone who comes in. Fucking cab walks That's by. Not it's definitely a brothel. True. It's definitely a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> For tax purposes, it's an inn. 
Now, well, no, no, no. You should say for tax purposes it's a church and then you don't pay tax. Just make up some god of that? like... Just, like make it seem like this is some kind of like church that worships... Well, if you put a couple a of... A lot of people do... God, god, god of, of, of sex, lust, right? That, a I'm lot sure of people do spend yeah. a lot of time yeah, on their knees here, so... Of god to sex. <laughs> really? Yeah, me for one. I do oh. quite often seem to hear, oh gods, oh gods. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Something to think about. You seem like the type to scream your own name, Brooks. <laughs> if you're lucky enough, you might find out. Well, oh, anyway, uh, can I get you anything to drink or, or some more, some, well, you know, while you're sitting here? No, it's the morning. We'll have some breakfast, though. There's... A drink Jesus. doesn't mean alcohol. You could have juice. Thought I was the Milk. one with the problem. <laughs> mead you know is, what? Like, like, like a cider or a mead is very, like, fruity. I feel like that's an acceptable morning drink, right? Or sweet. I'm going to see... Oh no, it's not gonna work. What yeah. non-alcoholic fruit juices do you have in stock, my good sir? Orange. I have that. <laughs> I'll have I... some orange juice. That's a. Good Can choice. I just like try and make the letter T, implying like in common, implying I want a T? <laughs> See if this. See if he's smart enough to this understand. This Goliath with an eight intelligence score figures oh, that no. out. Let's have a look. <laughs> what? I got a dirty twenty. I'll point it. I'll point it, Dagon. Tea and I'll have one as well if you've got it. Oh, right. Oh, my I'm God. going to Makes pull sense, out yeah. my sign language book and try and find tea. Yeah, because I made the actual sign for tea, knowing he's. I just made tried to make the letter, the common letter of tea. <laughs> yeah. So he uh, like? leaves and returns a couple minutes later with uh, a couple of pitchers of uh, orange juice and two cups of tea. There you go. I mean, this might actually be the sign. I don't know. Because a lot of sign language is like, some, has some miming almost elements of a lot of simpler things. Yeah, like, yeah. like that's fire. Yeah, so like, who knows? Maybe this actually is tea, the trinket with the pinky or something. Perhaps, I don't know. perhaps, perhaps. All right, so, and I'll take the scrap of bounty paper off the table. What what have we got here? What are we doing? Yeah, so I'll uh, reiterate what it says. Um... It says, uh, supplies have been disappearing from my storage by the docks, paying 100 gold to whoever finds the culprits, uh, or finding out why or who is taking these items. Find me 100 gold. for more information, signed by Audi Wart of the Cracked Vial. The fact this hasn't gone yet means it must have been up fresh this morning. Which means we can probably get a bonus for dealing with it so quickly. Well, the fact it's 100 gold, I think, is bonus enough. I don't, I don't think anyone would be uh, would turn the nose up at that tip or otherwise. I mean, it, even then, it might just be worth having an alchemist on site. I mean, I haven't seen the crack vial, but I mean, if he's any good. Plus, we have that bread shit that Elazrin has. The what? Oh, we got the spores for it. Don't have the actual bread. The bread making spores. Bread making spores? Remember, there are like some we weird mushrooms that you make into a bread and they become healing or something. They I do don't... something when they're baked, but they, they don't. Do I think you were well. there for that session. Yeah, you were there yeah, for that session. Oh. Found we found some mushrooms that we harvested that you can bread. make into healing bread. Mm. And the like bread's like bread. healing yeast. Bread. And it gives you like resistance. To Essentially. Poison. Or yeah, kills um, poison, one of the fucking two, probably both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bake it and find out. It's like, it's like a what, cure what, for, for a lot of uh, poisoning. Um, what do we need an alchemist for if it's just, you just make, bake it into bread? You yeah, probably we need a baker, fucking... not an alchemist. Yeah. I mean, I have offered to make it into bread. I meant more that he might be interested in buying it. Since the magic shop doesn't give a shit. Why can't we get a baker to make it into bread? If well, we, it gonna if we really bread, want to make it into bread, I can just make it into fucking bread. But why can't what? we get a... I would rather have a baker make it into bread. What's so hard about making bread? Well, I'm, I'm not saying making bread's hard, I'm just saying I'd like good bread rather than Brooks bread. I don't, I don't think when you're bread. suffering from serious poison that you're gonna give a fuck about whether the bread's nice or not. But it would be a bonus if it was nice, wouldn't it? That's bad bread. Have Davian. you ever tried to make your own bread, Kess? No. Why would well, I make my own it, bread? And you'll know what bad bread is. Nah, I don't... I don't really want to. <laughs> I lived with a man who worked all the fucking time. 
and a brother who is not the most capable at most things, including anything physical. That runs really... in the family, then. <laughs> I give up on this conversation. I... I... <laughs> I'm above this. All I'm saying is I'd rather have bread made by someone who gets paid to make bread. You know, maybe it won't work right if it's not properly made. Maybe it does require some expertise to make good bread with it. Maybe it does poison you if you make it wrong. I know how to make I... bread. I can make good bread. Insight check. Oh, I, as Brooke says that, I also put my hand up. I don't think it's worth insight checking because I think he does believe it. I just think he's wrong. <laughs> Dirty 20. Oh, time to roll insight or deception. Oh, perception, or deception. persuasion or deception. Break. Good job. You got yeah, there in the end. Good job. Yeah, roll insight. Natural insight, one. Bro. Pog. Well, does Brook seem to believe that he knows how to bake good bread? I'm, I mean, Brooks believes that he can make good bread. Yeah, there you go. So that's that's the read you get. Like, yeah, he seems very confident in his bread baking abilities. I don't know how to cook anything. I signed a cast. I can make one kind of bread, but it's more of like a flat bread thing. I don't think it would work for this. It's not like a fluffy bread. Well, I didn't eat or drink for most of my life, so I never had the need to learn how to cook. And what? then when we did when we did eat and drink, <laughs> Issue. I was never the one who was up. cooking it. Is this <laughs> signed? No. <laughs> no. She answers me out loud most of the time. Most of the time, yeah. yeah. That's specified. It's kind of the inverse of dying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so what? What was that first part? I I don't know how to cook anything. No, the no, part where you said that you we, didn't we know that. eat or drink for most of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no need to, so I just didn't. It wasn't really something I did. Is that a Ganassi thing? <laughs> no. As far as I know, I don't know many Ganassi. Did Sai Sai ate when he was with? I mean, you eat. So I eat. Right. I, I, I eat now. But I guess you, she doesn't need to eat. It's like well, a now I do. optional as well. So no, wait, no, wait, now, wait, wait. now I need to eat. I now eat, you do I, need to eat. Yeah, now I need to. But like, I didn't before. But why? Do you know why? Well, I, well, I guess the, the, the Feywild magic kind of sustains you, so you don't need to. Fuck. It's great. It's, I've never been sick either. Even since being here. Yeah. I... Really... I'm giving Kess a real weird... Look. Do you know what? If we ever go somewhere and you catch one of those codes where, like, one side of your nose is blocked and one isn't, you're gonna hate it. It's blocked? But Kess doesn't breathe the I don't same, need to so breathe. I don't think it would bother her that much. I don't know. I feel like even if you don't breathe out your nose, like, it still bothers you. Like, the sensation's not pleasant. I literally have that right now. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't I don't know what that feels like, so I couldn't I couldn't say. I think it would probably be fine though. Most of the time, I don't even actually breathe. I just kind of make the movements like I'm breathing. What the, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Have you not noticed it this? Is far too early in the morning for me to be having this make conversation the movements. With you? How can you make the movements without breathing? The movements of breathing is the muscles moving that make you breathe. So how can you make those movements Different without muscles. breathing? Because I don't actually don't actually do it. She's just constantly You just sort of go mm -hmm. She's just constantly flexing and unflexing her chest. <laughs> do that know, like how does, how does Bell come up with this shit, dude? <laughs> morphine. <laughs> Copious amounts of, of I've actually I haven't taken opioids. morphine today, so Copium. That's why she scribbled all of this down in like a morphine induced fever dream at 2 a.m. <laughs> oh my god. She won the smart days. I push my chair back, stand up, finish the rest of my tea, fucking give Onu a wave, and just sort of step out, out step out of the front door with the with the bounty. I'm gonna just sort of get a bit of fresh air and read over this and make sure everything's in order. Um I mean, we'll catch up in a minute once get we get shit together. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I'll just be out the front. I'm ready to go. Uh, Mr. DM. Hello. Do I find in the book the sign for tea? Hmm. Um. Apparently, given it's, that it's literally this. Yeah, we were yeah, I mean, yeah, that. in in, in British that. sign language, it's yeah. Given that it's probably like in some kind of alphabetical order. Uh, you'll yeah, you looking for a specific word is pretty easy, so you just kind of quickly. 
and find it, you know. Okay. I will look at Daigon and I will sign T. Give him a thumbs up back. If you do it like this, it means cup. I now know how to sign T and cup. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Put them together and you can sign tea cup. At the very least now... <laughs> three! If I ask Daigon if she wants a drink, she can sign tea and I'll understand. Like she could before tell me that she wanted a drink, but now she can tell me that she wants tea. Or just a cup. Or I don't think Daigon has ever asked for a cup in the entire time we've... But she might in the future, and now you would know. Mm-hmm. Isn't that wonderful for you? She just asked me for a cup before. What would you want an empty cup for? Water. But then why would you not just ask for a cup? A, a small fire. In a cup? Yeah. <laughs> I thought things would be easier once we got back and I wasn't alone with you. No, you can Somehow like... they've got worse. <laughs> you can make a... Like do stuff with ink and, and things. Have you never just played with fire? No. Well, not in a cup. (laughs) Just make like a a little fire in a cup. You could carry it around. It's great. I recommend it. This sounds like... Don't throw it on a It sounds like the classiest riot. Just throwing teacups full of fire at people. Well, I mean, I set just... an entire potato crop on fire once doing that, so maybe Who... don't. Okay. <laughs> yes? You can't yeah? just say this random bullshit randomly. <laughs> just being like, oh, yes, this one time where I was knocking on doors and tripped up all the farmers and then made a potato bot. What, what, what the fuck are you talking about, Kes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you a story from my childhood. I don't. I, did, I think you barely had one. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. No, no, no. This is... I call bullshit on this. You call You just said bullshit. you didn't have to eat when you were in the... You know. Yeah. While they're all... While they're all so why the this, fuck were they growing potatoes? Because it was for, like, ceremonial purposes. <laughs> Sometimes we would eat for, like, oh, festivities. Uh, so while, she, while they're having this argument, mm-hmm. I'm going to take out my journal and flip back to the journal entry I wrote on Kess ages ago <laughs> and take out my... Um, like, and just circle one small paragraph of it and slightly, not aggressively, but not carefully, just kind of like do the thing where you like throw it across the table at her and it lands in front of her mm-hmm. and uh, draw attention to the circled section and just go, so also a lie? Question mark. And the circled section says, um, talks about all I knew about Kess for a long while. And it says the part where you grew up in the Valen forest and you only knew about the Feywild because you said your dad was an author who wrote books on it. And then just sit back and cross my arms. Oh, I thought we'd already talked about this. Um, God, no. Yeah, no. I mean, I did grow up in the fa- the Valen Forest for like a little bit, but mostly it was like days at a time, which is kind of like that's how I got here, though. I don't know Just if I feel the better. Back. I don't Put know if I feel better or worse that you lied to Diagon as well as us. It's it's complicated. Is it? Really? Now, is it complicated like you complicated so it's pretty fucking simple? Is like actually complicated? Why is it complicated? You didn't come from the Valen Forest, you came from the Feywild. Because the why of that is complicated. And I don't want to tell you guys because what was it you said earlier? Plausible deniability? So let me get this straight. We've been on a little laddie fucking hire walk around the city. You've constantly pressed me for information on personal shit. And now you're like, oh, I don't want to tell you guys because I, you know, I didn't want you to be able to get into trouble because you're, what, are you fucking wanted for murder and shitting on someone's fucking prized turnip in the Feywild? Me specifically, no. I mean, I could go back to the Feywild. It's, It's the people here who don't want me here. If they knew I was here, which they don't, and I would rather it stay that way. And like, what does that why... have to do with where you grew up or like lying about when you, times you spent in the Feywild? That doesn't As that far as I know, not many people from the material plane know anything about the Feywild or like 
Oh, so you don't mean hair is in outlaw? Oh, yeah. You mean like hair is in yeah. the world? Yeah, yeah, it like this in this entire plane. I'm not supposed. I'm not supposed to be. I I ran away. <laughs> okay, but I hate Wouldn't to tell you this. Wouldn't it have been this. easier? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you can say. Oh, you're true. You could be. This could be happening simultaneously. So whatever Brooks is saying, he's about to say. I'm also signing. Wouldn't it have been easier for me to maybe then help make sure I kept your secret for two years if I'd been in on said secret? No, because how can you spill a secret if you don't know what the secret is? No, but I could talk about, hey, this is my my friend Kess or something. I don't know. That's what you always said anyway. The vibe I'm getting from this is that Dagon definitely did not know and is not happy about that. Yeah, no. no. Um... To be fair, what would you have done if... Wait, no, no, no. First I need to figure out... Why do you think you can't be here? Because I know I can't be here. Why? You're here. See, this is why I didn't tell you, because then you ask questions like this that I can't answer without putting You're... you at risk. What did if you, you find out, do? and then they ask you, did you know, then you, Guess. under magical duress, can say, no, I didn't know. Hey, guess. You... Who's they? See, that's another thing I can't answer. Nothing I love more than know. magical duress. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign yes. the guess. I have an idea. Fine. We don't ask anymore. This day forward, you are not allowed to ask anyone in this room a single fucking question about anything that you are not around to hear about. There you go. Problem solved. No one needs to know. No, no, no. Counterpoint on that. You don't know what uh, I said. Counterpoint on that. You have no idea what she <laughs> said. <laughs> You're right. Counterpoint your counterpoints. <laughs> and it's gonna solve both problems. We don't get to ask you anymore, but then you're also done with the questions. This, this goes both ways. I recognize the word no. <laughs> <clears throat> I I'll, I'll, uh, when she's pa word. pausing, I'll write on a paper to the group and tell the group the proposition I just gave Kess. We all stop asking her questions, but she's no longer allowed to ask any of us a question about anything that we... isn't about what? like That's what's similar. actually happening like, right now, like present tense. No, because guess this makes this made sense to me. We can't I'm help you against why it's not if we sense don't know who they is. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> Terrible. Uh. <laughs> What's that like? Wouldn't know. Oh, Jax is hairless. Who's he been looking? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh hey, watch out, dude. Would you like to know? This is like a oh, someone in the friendly giants. The night push. <laughs> we need to know. Well, no, it's not like the night web cell because I'm not being hunted. It, it's, oh, it doesn't then, matter. It's but good you, they could things. find you. We all, every single Maybe. fucking one of us, made an agreement to bring up anything that could impact the rest of the group. This wouldn't impact you, though. I made sure it wouldn't. I'm it would pretty only sure this impact fucking point... me. I would just Ooh, disappear. You're using my logic. You know that I used. I said it didn't pick the group and come back to me. You know how you had to go at me for that. Well, guess guess what? It's time to uh, face the other side of this. So you know how you called me reckless. Do you not yeah, think maybe reckless. there would be some level of upset within the group, especially like I don't know, maybe your best fucking friend, uh, if you just upped and disappeared? Why would why would she why would she care? Oh my god, you're as bad as Brooks. I actually. <laughs> Or you know the I... whole reason you had a good Brooks for like people like trusting him and like not you know we all he was like why do you care that you're like my friends and all that's like right Kess you're being a bit of a prick okay <laughs> like more than usual well, I just look at my I just I just signed her you're not really that stupid DM hello at this point can I just start walking to the crack pile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If Daphia does, I'm getting up and just going with it. I mean, I've been outside. I've been, been outside, outside before. Like, yeah, I mean, I, if you want, we can say that you like see him like to the as window. This, as like... this is descending yeah. into that chaos, I'm just gonna, yeah. just gonna walk. So like, we can say that like if you want Laura, that like Daigon will see him like. My passive perception's high enough. I'd dip, see him like through the window, the window. You can see him like walk away, and you just you just take yeah. the opportunity to like. Just dip. You, you hear the fucking. Yeah. And as I go, I'm gonna grab the paper off the table that had the the gauntlet. I think no, I, I, I took it out with Oh, me. you have it. You yeah. have it. Okay, someone has it. That's all about it. Is is this what it was like when I was like this? 
Oh, yes. I'm quite so. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so spill. What? There's only Who is three, they? Three of us now. I, I or... can't. You have two options. <clears throat> you can either tell us, or I am also going to walk out the door and I am not going to talk about any of the questions that you ask me ever again. Because by the same logic, I can defend you by not telling you about it. I vote if she doesn't tell us, we make her bored and she doesn't get to do this apothecary thing with us. No, because I, I want to do this apothecary thing, but I'll happily go do it yes, without her. Yes, we can do it. We'll do it without her. No. Are you about to ground Kess? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to say in the weeping mug, oh, go to your room. Go to your room, miss. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, they, as far as I know, would be anyone with significant power. So Especially like, anyone really old. So like all of the people we've met in no, the they're not important enough. No, people. people Higher than I'm that. Assuming, I'm assuming people from the Feywild. No. Oh, just the Feywild would be fine. It's people in the material no, no, plane. No, right. No, you're right. At... You're right. What do they want? Me not here. But why? Why? I can't. I can't tell you that. You don't have to go into full details. Just a rough thing of being like, oh, I'm a fugitive, <laughs> or oh. I'm a part of a bloodline that it's, they don't want here anymore, or something like that. To play not criminal. No. Yeah, you don't have to give us like a. Oh, here's everything I did, and this is why they're after me. Thing. Just, <laughs> is it crime? Is it like just disrespect? It, what? Why do they not want you here? They exiled my people. Right. Insight check. <laughs> that make insight check. Fuck. I mean, then the, are... no, Fuck. no interplanar visa, kind of right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, no, customs. Wrong paperwork, sadly. <laughs> you enter immigration and look at I'm the just going to forge a material <laughs> plane green card. Oh my you god, Cass gets captured by the ice of D&D. <laughs> You end of question number 13 and answer 14, so we have to refuse your visa. Uh, please try again in 30 days. <laughs> what did you roll, uh, Quips? Oh, 14. 14? Oh, shit for me. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, 16. You believe her? Well. Enough. <laughs> My passive insight is actually 18. No, <laughs> no like, like you get the sense that she's being truthful. Yeah. Well, fuck. <laughs> Why what do you mean by your people? The fucking gun. Well, I was she means by her being a Nazi, or it could be like you know her dad and her grandfather. They might be a an elemental being of some commune. description. N not that part of my family. Oh, oh. What is your, is your mother Elsa Nil? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you sure? That would make so much sense, yeah. though. Holy shit. <sighs> Good. That makes things a lot less complicated. Then... Uh, it's not important because no one we would ever come across at this point would know about it, even. It's important because you made attempts to hide it. That's why everyone's so Roughly wild. Roughly how long ago it. did these events happen? I don't know in Material Plane years, but for my people... It's been a few, three or four generations. So, right. like what, like no, 200, 300 years in the Feywild? generations is like 200 years, if that. Thousand. I don't know how long. When... Elves grow old, smile. Therefore, generations last longer. <laughs> oh, true, you're right. That's... So, I'm going to be honest with you, Kess. There's probably not many yeah. people alive at all who give a shit about it. <laughs> That's why I didn't tell you. It wasn't important uh, to anyone how, other than me. How long is a thousand Feywild years in material plane years? Like? It fuck changes you every for time asking that question. Also, it changes every I'm time I'm asking in characters. Shut the oh, fuck up. You were like asking them. Sorry, I thought it was a DM question. I'm like, fuck you for asking that. <laughs> no, <laughs> Piece of shit. I think we can naturally assume out of character. It's uh, like DM, how many uh, years? years is that? Time, timey, wimey shit in the Feywild uh, is, is, yeah. Change um, right. 
let it me... Is also, yeah, it's not like something set in stone. It, it changes a lot, but typically... It's, uh, it's like... One day spent, or like one year spent in the Feywild equals like three to four years, uh, if not more, in the in the Prime Material Plane. But that, that the it's never really set in stone. It, it fluctuates a lot depending on just depending on fuck knows really. <laughs> Maybe I can contextualize it a little bit. Um... We're allowed back every few months for a festival one night in the Valen Forest. The druids oversee it, we appear at sundown, and then we leave at sunrise. I have seen six generations of druids come and go. I played with them as children. I watched them grow into adults, they got married, I watched them have children, and I watched them die. And That's I'm... I'm a hundred and... and twenty. You're a hundred and twenty? At least as far as I've lived. I'm not entirely sure how long ago I first stepped foot on your plane, but... To me, it was about a hundred years ago. You are a lot older than I thought. Mm-hmm. I've made sure to make it look that way. Fortunately here, I can just hide behind being a Ganassi. At home, I had to hide being a Ganassi, but it's kind of become the reverse here, so... There's at least that. It's a pretty good disguise. <laughs> yeah, you might want to maybe have this conversation with Daikin and also apologize. On top of which, you could have just told us this from the start and we could have told you that nobody is alive to care. I don't believe that. I don't want to believe that. Because if that's true, they not only exiled my people, they erased us. And I refuse to allow that to be the truth. Um, again, who are your people? I guess at this point it's kind of... <sighs> stupid to not just outright say it. You could probably do a little bit of research and find out. I think you overestimate how much I mean, history is in our history books. Oh, we have religious texts will probably mention you as some sort of other... Let's be real. Something that's completely false and probably makes you more grandiose than you are, which you'd love. But um... <laughs> Well, they did, have a, they did have a habit of villainizing us. Oh, just the other way around completely, but you'll still be grandiose because if they beat you, they'd want to be like, well, these were really powerful, so we're more powerful. So, I mean, could. So, who? <clears throat> My mother is a Mark of Shadow Elf. Do we... I don't mean anything. <laughs> uh, make a anything? history check. Yeah, sure. Meanwhile, me and Davian having a very nice walk. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I just don't want to like, cut, like, interrupt the conversation. No, of course, uh, of course. I got a 21. is 22. All right. Um, Damn. We both just say shit at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you have heard of, uh, of, of, of Mark of Shadow uh, elves. They lived among the, the elves of, of, of the Prime Material Plane um, for a very long time without any real issues. But at some point, you're not exactly sure what happened, but at some point, it is like Kes said, uh, that entire like uh, kind of elf just 
got exiled uh, through magic means, making it so that even if they wanted to return to the Prime Material Plane, they physically cannot. They have to be let in, and this is what happens uh, on a on a on a yearly basis, I believe, um, where there's a festival. The Mark of Shadow Elves get brought back by the Druids uh, to like celebrate some some like I uh, some important historical moments and then after that uh, they get kicked right back to the Feywild um, the exact reasoning why they got exiled uh, you're not sure of uh, because it's been it's been a very long time and even some of the like more uh, in-depth texts didn't really cover it it's it's a it's it's described as a secret that really only is kept by the Elvish uh, communities and it isn't really shared with uh, outsiders. Um, how are you able to be here if you're only able to be here for 12 hours a year? I assume because I'm part elemental. Kansas at the mark of the shed. That does make sense to a degree. Extra tie to the material plane. That I is mean, well, Alasrin as the contract uh, man. Yes, I'm the contract man. Let's go. Could, would it not be argued that even if someone on the plane still gave a shit and had power to do anything about it. The fact that she's able to remain here proves that she's not part of the original group and therefore... It depends probably how fanatic they are, I suppose. If they are true to text in the sense of they think how it is written and how it is all, what the reasoning for it is absolute, then it doesn't matter. Though anything that has a tiny percent of they'll say technically doesn't belong it's a really loud motorbike holy shit um <laughs> rotterdam <laughs> oh he's flying really fast <laughs> <laughs> um but <clears throat> if they're more just sort of been passed down and they understand it could be argued that but it's hard to say without knowing without really knowing fully what has happened and well, fully, you know, eyewitness and contemporary sources and Plus, knowing the full um, truth. Plus, Lazarin, since you're a half-elf, so you've gotten yep. some of the more elven yep. upbringing as well. You also know that especially high elves are mm. very, very, very stuck in their ways uh, when it comes mm. to, like, tradition and... I mean, even though Even would... though this shit is, like, so long ago, because it is a tradition and... Th th yeah. Especially, mainly high elves will definitely like uphold this this tradition. Try to. Yeah, I mean, if they're high elves, then well, you got no chance. Um, they are dusty book merchants. As it comes to it, they um they like tradition a bit too much. But some of the other elven races are a bit more lenient and a bit more um forward thinking rather than scared of change. But it's hard to say. However, Kes, well, thank you for sharing with us fucking eventually, but like... It wasn't important for you. It's not about it being important. That's not the problem here. The problem is if that's something you think is not important for us, but you can't tell us, what is there that you think that might be that you don't tell us? Well, that's... <laughs> that is my greatest secret. I mean, yes, and my greatest secret was these fucking nightwebs. That's the whole secret order, you know what I mean? And that won my blood. I don't know what they want. Oh, I don't really know what the nightwebs are fully. I just kind of half know them. It's... No one really knows what anyone else actually wants. Life the, truth, the truth is, I don't think... Even if they were allowed back, that my people would come back. I don't blame them. They've been pretty like shit. <laughs> Four generations is not a very long time for us. It's been all we've had to think about, all the stories we told. Nothing happens in the Feywild. The daylight doesn't even change. But if it's... 
We've had so, so centuries recently, to yeah. fester on this. It's become something of a point of indignant fury, to say the least. I'm not even sure that my mother would want me to go home if she knew where I'd been. Don't blame her. <laughs> you, nice. No offense, but you probably have a lot better existence out here than they probably do. <laughs> and that's why I left. So. I mean, they all hate you guys, so... I mean, I understand that for, like, <laughs> me, Brooks, I mean, Jack, I, I, I get it, you know? I'm quite and we were involved. Huh? All right, yeah, no, we're, we're back. We're good. We're good. We're back. We're back. All right. What the fuck? Yeah, I guess uh, Twitch server just kind of had a little uh, had a little shit. Okay, we Let's should be back. See. Twitch server hates elves. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, well, I don't know. Like, the, the, the collection thingy was just bright green, but I just noticed like zero KBS. I'm like, well, some yeah. high or Hello. somewhere cut our connection. <laughs> so I guess uh, yeah, something in the Twitch server was, had a hiccup. But we're back. Hey gamers. Cool. Um. All right. Sorry about that. Right, we should probably catch up with Dyke and Davy and who knows how far they've gotten. Yeah, meanwhile... Yeah, you guys... Just, you, yeah, so you, you guys, Dyke and Davy and you have the, the, the bounty, or like the, the, the poster, and you're you're on your merry way. What do you guys do? Uh, I mean, I don't really think I have anything to say on the walk there. And, and I'm just God following Dyke and doesn't. Mm -hmm. We're just we're just going to do a job now. Just yeah. Like so yeah, I'm just gonna pull up outside the crack vial, um, and see just see what's going on. See if yeah. I can find said goblin Oriwort. Oriwort, yes. Ori, Ori so O double R Y Wart, W O R T. Yeah, uh, way I spelled it, it'll do. <laughs> sure. O R I Wart. Yeah. That's almost it's almost the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The cracked vial. Have you been to the cracked vial before? And you've, like, I don't think I have, personally. Okay. I, it's it's uh, in my notes, which implies I must have been there, because I wrote it down for some reason, but I don't I know I think why. maybe you went we sell there Hydra to blood? sell the fucking Hydra blood Hydra there blood? or some shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, then either yeah. That, would, either have. that or the, like, the pink, like, algae that makes the or both. potions. Or both. Mm. I think that's may have been no, I've been there, because I definitely sold some, some potion-y yeah. stuff. Because I, I, I would just sell <laughs> stuff for, like, me and Kess. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money. Yeah. Yeah, so it it's, uh, it's an apothecary, so this shop is, is there's a bunch of potions on stands, but also ingredients and, and dusts and powders and anything um, remedy uh, related or, or, or uh, you know, things to help you in combat. This is a really good place to, to be, to shop. It's pricey, but then again, potions just are very pricey, but... Um, as you uh, go inside, <clears throat> you can see this uh, this goblin individual standing behind his uh, little, little um, counter. Jesus, yes. words are hard. Yeah. My brain is slow today because I'm hungover as fuck. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> behind his counter, and uh, as you enter, you hear like a little ding -a -ding, ding like a bell that gets hit above the door. Hello? I just sort of walk up to the um the counter and put the the bounty down uh we're here to help with your missing supply problem oh um i already had two people uh tell me that they would help did you yeah uh well uh do you know if they're already working on it um i think so 
I I take out my book and write man man and woman night man nice clothes girl cloak blue question mark tattoos on the guy <laughs> does he remember I don't remember oh sort of you don't you don't remember if it was a blue girl and a well dressed sort of Sigalian sounding man. <clears throat> no. Well, anyway, we we have the fucking bounty, so. Right. Um. Well. Uh, okay. Um. Is it just you two, or? No, but there is a blue girl and a well-dressed Sigalian sounding man. Why uh, is that so important? Sort of... Well, because they're our friends. They're in our sort of ah. posse. Okay. Just, they didn't say that they ran into a goblin, which is why we're a little bit confused, because they came out and got the bounty, but they didn't tell us that they spoke to you at all. What are we talking about? A blue girl and a well-dressed Sigalian sounding man. <laughs> The girl was a bit annoying. Bit Not annoying. <laughs> and I nudge her. Uh, <laughs> I nudge Tygen. <laughs> and I just give him a what what do you what do you want me to do kind of look and just like look back and forth he, like, kind of, from like, him to he the has, goblin. Like, a little, a little, little, little front pockets and like he'll like put his thumb in there. And as he pulls his thumb out, you can see some kind of like dusty thing and he, he's kinda of, I don't know what are you talking about? Is that gonna help? Is it? Does it? Does, when when, he, when he does that, I want to take a. a does I, do I smell anything? Does that dust from his pocket emit any kind of odor? Uh, make a perception check. Smell that dried Ooh. semen. Uh, gross. It smells like uh, 20, 24. <laughs> it's surprisingly odorless. But, okay. um. I just smell the apothecary dust. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 very like just like a, a neutral, like not really. It doesn't really have a sense. It's like corpse dust or some shit. But you um, bone meal. <clears throat> I mean, you maybe get the sense just from like how this guy is. Uh, he's probably just kind of picked up a habit of using certain substances that he is in contact with and uses in potions on the daily, and he's just kind of a bit, you know, a little high. Right high now. on his own supply. Yeah. Uh, you know. Well, anyway, so what, yeah. Uh, what's the story with the supplies, anyway? Well, I, I I have a storehouse by the by the docks that I pay good money for, and I pay a security right. team. But over the last three nights, every night back to back to back, things have been going missing. But there's no traces of any sort of break-ins. The doors are still locked and in place. The windows are shut and closed, and there's no no sign of anything being broken into so now i don't know if i can trust my security team so i just need somebody to maybe be there tonight and be inside sneak past the security that is there because they won't know but i'll give you a key you can be inside and just have like a stakeout and see if you can catch well, people you... in the act well if you give us the key we can get in but is this security all 24 hours yeah no oh. Well, we could always I, well, just go over with you and then wait inside. Does it? Well, right, because then if they knew they were, if it's yeah, like, I don't know if they can be security? trusted. So that's why I, right. I don't want them to yeah. know that you're there. I'm yeah. gonna write out are? on my piece of paper. Could you? I mean, we could sneak in later, maybe. But for <clears> now, <throat> could you not just say maybe you're taking some potential customers or investors on a warehouse tour? Because we can look inside now. They'll let you pass just to see if there's any hidden entrances or people have left any. Like, you know, a secret trap door or a way for them to get in. Well, I would, but I do have, you know, I have the shop to, to run and, I, you know, I don't want to. So, um, I don't know. Well, I mean, we could. It's just, um, what? Have you asked the security if they've, you know, nixed anything? Well, not directly. Call them cunts. Didn't directly say, hey, did, did you guys steal from me? Well, what if it's... We just... Never mind. All right. Um, what it's about like the guards? things that have gone are going missing are 
there's no real logic. It's just random potion ingredients. It's one day I noticed that uh, a box of uh, my my uh, certain spores of mushrooms were going missing. The next day, suddenly, I'm missing two boxes of wolf spider hair. It's very random. There's no real logic. People are just nicking shit. Granted, some of these ingredients that they're stealing are worth a pretty penny. Don't get me wrong, they're expensive. Do you have but... any enemies? I think I may have made some enemies when I called half of the Blue Sentinels a lot of names this morning, but... But other than that, like anyone who might be targeting you specifically, scorned lovers, debts... I think so. Well! Hmm. No. No. What if someone was to procure some wolf spider hair? Hmm? What value might it have on its own before being made into some sort of potion? Um. On its own? Uh, not too sure. I pay per box. I, I pay about 150 to 200 gold for a shipment, but obviously that's like, you know, I have to mark the prices up when I make it into potions and stuff. Um, I just, I, it's very, like the price of the things that haven't gone missing are, it's very random. Right, but like, if someone just had some wolf spider hair, they could only make potions with it? Yeah, probably. It's an ingredient in, in potions like uh, potions of growth or certain certain resistance po potions or it, it, it's a it's a ingredient in a lot of different kinds of potions. But on its own has no real no. Okay. Which is why I'm like, if you're gonna steal potion ingredients, surely you would steal things that go together. But this is just I, I feel like. This is just somebody that wants to make some money and is just nicking a random box of shit on a nightly basis. Then again, I don't know. All I know is that I'm losing a lot of money. Makes me mad. Right. Well, I suppose we'll we'll try and sneak in and uh, see if anyone tries to steal it again. Mm hmm. And you said it's down on the docks, right? Mm hmm All right. Be a lot easier. How big are these? How big down. are the boxes that are, that are going missing? Um, about well, a big. Small of them. Yeah, small. I mean, it'd be a lot easier if you could just take us there and now, and we can just wait inside until nighttime. Right, but what he's saying is, if the security know that we're there, then they won't do anything. And if they don't see us leave, oh. then they might assume that we've stayed. So, mm. I, it's I not in comprehension. The fact that there's no traces of an actual break-in makes me think that maybe the security, because the security has keys to the property, because in case of you know shit like this. But now I don't know. You see my predicament. And you know where where you were last night. <laughs> no. Oh, I know. DM, does he have shoes on? No, he doesn't. <laughs> I'm just gonna sort of store in my mind the size and shape of this man's bare goblin feet. Okay. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case he's stealing his own shit. <laughs> for, when yeah. it, for when he's alone at night. He's 100% getting high. No, that means and just in the feet, guys, shit, right? dude. Come on. He, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna... this individual is just all over the place. I'm going to write down like one last question. Do, do you know, or has anyone ever told you if you have a history of sleepwalking? Like, do you ever wake up not in your bed when you went to bed? I tend to sleep very poorly around the full moon, but other than that... Oh, no. Is that a joke? <laughs> what a joke. Oh, no. Uh, no, no, no. Mr. No, DM, no. is it a you... full moon right now? Or is it approaching one? No. 
Oh, okay. Just fine. We're fine. No, I right. guess, guess we're sneaking in to a warehouse. I still stealing his own shit, dude. And you definitely <laughs> haven't seen uh, a blue lady and a well dressed cigar lean <laughs> standing there. Well, maybe okay. Both, both with tattoos. I, I, I. How does I, someone I sound Scarlet? What does that mean? I've never been. He kind of sounds like this, <laughs> like he's come from Sagalia and he likes to drink a wee bit much. <laughs> How about the blue lady? How does oh. she sound? Oh, um, <laughs> Rooks, you're so silly. Everyone, look at me. I'm really clever. <laughs> I, I just start silently, really like like clutching my side, silent laughing. And Can I insight check his doesn't ring a bell? Yeah, sure. Oh, he doesn't ring a bell. He's an alchemist. Uh, uh, that doesn't mean he doesn't have a bell. There's a bell on the he door. He did have a bell, actually, when we came in the door. True. Yeah. True. He, didn't um, ring it. he could. I Short did, though. Thought. 15 on insight. You get the sense that this guy is just office rocker. At the moment, and <laughs> it's fully, fully convinced that he, he believes everything he's saying. Oh, good. Okay. That's that's great. That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> right. Would you mind showing us where the warehouse is? Oh, yeah, I can step out for a few minutes. Sure. And he'll uh, he'll guide you to the docks, and there's like a bunch of like large storehouses, and there's a couple of smaller ones. He's like. How like far away would we been to? Um, you'll so probably kind of arrive, like arrive at the store as they've already fucking gone. <laughs> you'll probably arrive around the time. I feel like the conversation you had with Kess will probably be. Uh oh oh hi bye shall go. The I old man go. just had a heart attack. <laughs> Sales of applesauce and Eldalon dropped dramatically. But um, I say, given the duration of the conversations and stuff, you'll probably arrive at the trade district towards the end of their, like, conversation they're about to head out, kind of thing. Okay. Fair. So, coming back? Mm -hmm. Apparently not. Because he's <laughs> typing, he's typing. Okay. okay. He thinks his internet just shit himself. Okay. Alright, uh, funky cams for a minute. Or just yeah, we're gonna have. Break. I mean, okay. or can... everyone just like find a way to sit in your frame so you're still in the shot and then play like. I'm this still in my frame. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, could just, right. we could just take. Like, they have my Our break forehead. is in like ten minutes normally, so we could just take a break now and hopefully yeah. Soko is back by the time That's break ends. That's a good shout, yeah. right? actually. Yes. So we'll do that. We'll go on our break and hopefully Soko will be back uh, after the break is done. Thanks for being here so far, gamers. Appreciate you, and uh, we'll be right back. All right. God, I hate Soko. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna God, quickly fucking resize shit because Soko's Soko's net proper proper dead. Spectrum Internet <sighs> decided he not allowed to play D and D. Oh no, Soko Brooks again. is no longer played by my titties. <laughs> I hate him. Um, <laughs> just gonna quickly do the fucking camera resizing BS and then we'll be uh, we'll be good to go. My it's easier with is the screen. DM. Let's go. <laughs> Nice, yeah. <laughs> the way it should be. Toast DM. There, I'm in frame again. I'll just play like we this. All, do we, is, is it, it the just mediocre rock bread rock? or was it made by a baker? You find yourselves in the Marmite forest. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's the, is that version you of Rock Swoon. You either love it or you hate like, it. You know like when bread <laughs> falls and it falls just like... There we go. I'm back. Butter side down. Butter side down. Always. Yeah, that's uh, like Ethan, can you do me a favor? Can you like zoom out your camera's head? I don't think. I mean, no, because it has a fancy lens on it, but mm. I don't know why Discord zooms it in slightly either. Fuck Discord, am I right? True. Because Discord forces everything into 16 by 9. I mean, it is 16 by 9, but sure that about should that? be a bit better. Are you sure about that? Is that yeah, no, okay. that's fine. I just noticed that uh, you're like the lower half of your face sometimes like gets cut off because of the, the fucking like name card and shit. I'm moving my camera bit. back further. Is that better? Uh, yeah, that works. Uh, beep pop, beep pop, boop, beep 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 pop, beep pop, boop. Skrrr. You know. 
What do I mean? It's just easier to do it this way because if I have to do it in studio mode, I don't see It's so hard because they're so small, yeah. yeah. You can't do it. Fucking I remember. Impossible. Fucking Kess just being Bell's eyes is the funniest thing. <laughs> <part. laughs> yeah. It was like, like, we're playing that. <laughs> yeah, Kess and Diagon are just like, Hello. they're looking like very, like, really shifty. <laughs> just like, keep, just keep it over. So it's natural for Kess then? Mm -hmm. Oh, because Kess is a piece of shit. That's true. true. <laughs> yes. Confirmed yeah. this episode. Shout out Toast DM, though. Yeah. Shout out Toast DM. Yeah. <laughs> Dutch next Halloween episode. Dutch now has to dress as a piece of toast. No, I'm dressing up as a French maid because I have the outfit anyway. Mm. True. I thought you were supposed to be scary for Halloween, not horny. Well, that you is say clearly that. Have you, you seen any Halloween. like Halloween party, yeah, hello? Uh, bro? I'm just a scary little cat, man. <laughs> Like There's like a, a whole section like of like meat. Me and a maid outfit. A meat outfit. I feel like it's <laughs> pretty fucking horrifying. I'll be Is scared of gonna... how horny I am seeing it. Alright, ne next DS budget. Laura and Belle have to dress up as Chads. Everyone else has to dress in a maid outfit for Halloween. It's what, what do I wear to dress as a Chad? Uh. Anything hat, like sunglasses and doors. Um, pimp outfit. Wear a pimp outfit with a fucking cane in the hat. <laughs> Happy just with the whole it's, it's, like, coat. it's yeah. like that fucking Michael Scott line where he says he wants people to be afraid of how much they love him, but instead it's just how horny you make them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scary part. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold it's on. Just how turned on we'll all be at Dutch in a French maid outfit. Yeah, no. It's... I'm gonna be right there next to when he puts it on. <laughs> what makes it a French maid specifically? Does he come with his own baguette? Yes. No. It has to no, talk I come with my answer. own French stick. I hate that people say that, dude. <laughs> so dumb. All right, we're back. But it's a we're stick of go. bread from France. Yeah, but it's so dumb. Uh... We're good to go. We're back. You guys, I know, you guys, kind of all um, meet at the As uh, he's showing us where trade he district. You spot uh, Davian and Dagon already talking to the gnomish individual. Gnomish. Sorry, oh, goblin. 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 My bad. My bad. Goblin. Oh God! I'm I'm this this is literally unplayable. Ganotic <laughs> Elf. He's a Ganoblin. I mean, you can bring back <laughs> Toasty M if you'd prefer. Yeah. I want to see what the Marmite Forest is like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Feywild, actually. It just is a bit stickier. It's just the, the Feywild. Most horrifying yeah. monster. It's probably, it's probably in the Feywild. Is it behind the make believe trees? Is this a cottage green? No, it's behind the, the Biscoff spread <laughs> swamp. The war between the anyway, sentient toast and the crumpets has been fought for years. Right. As we come out. Yes. And sort of see them. Sorry, what? Um, I intentionally, uh, trying to read the responses on their faces of Kess and, and uh, Brooks as they come over. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to say... Oh, if it if it isn't a blue a blue girl and uh, a well dressed Thagalian sounding man. Are what? you okay? That was a very weird description of us. Hello. Do we need to go get a doctor? No, we're just talking to this. Well, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate earlier. that you understand my dress sense. Okay, the dressed. Thanks for calling me blue. That. I guess. What took you guys so long? Um, we'll explain later, but basically, Kess is a moron. That's news? I didn't yeah. say that news. is not... News. That is it's not, not news. a yep. short right. version okay. of that story at all. Would you rather have this conversation out in the street? No. So then we're going with Kess as a moron. Let's go. Are you sure right, you're going to be able to help me? This storehouse. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Keep Any big leads at the moment, or have we not found anything? <laughs> I'm talking to Davin, I says. What? Is it any <laughs> big leads, or is it something uh... anything yet? We'll talk about <laughs> it when we get down there. No. Fuck <laughs> me, Davian, that orange juice really did a number on you. <laughs> you have the busy kind. Yeah, we had tea. <clears throat> Even worse. Shall we go? Okay. Is there any sense of familiarity between the goblin, Kess, and, uh... Goblin. Well, wait, one of them looks like a goblin. Goblin, goblin man <laughs> no, doesn't really bat an eye. Like, he's he just, like, know each other. He, the, the group, like, kind of, like, approached. He was like, 
oh, these are probably like the people you talked about, and he doesn't really seem to bat an eye at, at or like any sort of sign of recognition. Okay. Okay. And um, right, lead the way. All right, uh, he leads the way. You get to the docks, and hey, you've been to, been to the docks before. And you know that there's a bunch of warehouses, uh, and there's one smaller warehouse that is also marked um, uh, the cracked vial. And he'll he'll approach it and, be, and point at it. So this is it. Um, and you you can see some like guards kind of like patrolling up and down the street and kind of like around the the house. Um. So before we go, before we get close, what's what am I? What am I? Because I don't I don't know if the guards are. Yeah. You know, so we'll... no, we just need we just need to know the place was. So we don't oh, okay. have to worry about well, anything else. That one over there. Right. We'll uh, get back to you when we're done then. Yeah. Typically, um, things go missing. Like I I always do like a routine check after I close my shop, and basically after that is when shit goes missing. So it it tends to happen in the evening or right. nights, maybe I don't know. Uh, well, you gave us the key, so mm -hmm. yeah. But we'll, as long as we can get in unnoticed, hopefully we'll have good news by tomorrow. Okay. Black. And he uh, as <clears throat> as he moves out of earshot, I'll just kind of go over my notes with everybody. Just right. So, um, his word isn't particularly reliable. Ew. Um. Because he's just, he doesn't seem to be all there. But storehouse gets broken into at night, like he said. Three nights, last three nights in a row. He's got security. Hasn't asked them if any of them have seen anything or anything like that. So that's great. Um, he doesn't apparently have any enemies. They seem to be stealing fairly random bits of, of stock. Um... And apparently sleeps poorly around a full moon, but I couldn't. That doesn't seem related at all. I honestly think that we should just go and ask the security if he's going in yeah. late at night and just doesn't know it. I mean, surely that's if they are stealing things, that's the quickest and easiest out for them. Would we not maybe be better to have a couple of people on the inside, a couple of people on the outside, and just watch and see what happens? Yeah, that's probably the better idea. I guess that then becomes who's staying inside and who's staying well, outside. Well, my eyes are more adjusted for the dark, so I should probably be on the inside. I can make one of us invisible. Yes, I can make disguise invisible. I could disguise. Mm. I can see invisibility as well if need be. We can disguise ourselves, although nobody's really sure enough to be. Goblin, what was Goblin's man's name, Davian? What was who? What? Uh, fucking. Oro what? 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 Yeah. 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 Ori Ward. Okay, well, none of us are really sure enough to be disguised as Ori Ward, I don't think. No, you could go uh, well, he's not very sure of anything, so if short. any, if any that would make it more convincing. Short. Oh, short. I thought you said sure. I, 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 I take out my writing, like, talking journal and go. Is yeah. anyone good at throwing their voice? Like ventriloquism. Not really. I can do it magically. I'm good at throwing other people. I'm not even good at that. <laughs> then we... Oh, never mind. Bad plan. I was going to we could magically disguise Onu and someone throw their voice. But Onu's also pretty damn tall. So that's not helpful. Yeah, Onu's help. taller than Ariwot. <laughs> How tall is Ariwot? Like, maybe four feet, if that. I mean, the shortest person is Cass, right? Yeah. yeah only by Why are we time to disguise well, Zori Ward? Oh, no, he's technically shorter than Cass, but... I mean, because with magic, you can change your height by, like, a foot, I think. So... I mean, four foot. You, but why are you, are you bang on five foot? Zori Ward? That's a good question. You would look slightly taller, but they might not question it. Other than to be. confuse this man who you say is off his rocker pretty much all the time, wh hmm. why do we need to look like him? Oh, well, I guess because it means one, one person could go in unquestioned and just have a look around the place. 
I mean, I mean one person we could just... go in with other invisible people and we wouldn't have I mean, to then break in. Haven't the guards just seen us with the person who owns it? No, because no, we didn't actually go close distance. enough. We didn't, like, go up. Oh, okay. He just showed us where it is. He just showed us where it is. And again, we can just look around. No one there. Just open it, go in. Like, and oh, just say we would. Well, the security is 24 hours, so there will be security somewhere around. True. We, we either need to make a distraction or disguise Cass as Ari Ward. So that she can open the door. Right. Let's see. And then whoever else is invisible can just sneak in. I mean, being invisible. Just Ori Watt says he's got people to do and help him with an inventory check or something. Yeah, but we want them. We want people in there without them thinking there's people in there. That's the right. Difference. So why don't we just cast goes invisible, you go invisible, you go inside, and the rest of us are way outside. Because how are we going to get in? You just walk in when no one's looking at the door. You'll be invisible. We've got the key. Okay, so how are you going to make them not look at the door for long enough for us to open it without it them going, Oh shit, the door opened all by its fucking self. I could make a distraction. I, as Whoa. Kess says Whoa. that, I'm going to take out a little pouch from my um, bag and uh, hold it out to show the group. And then um, take, and then also have the page in my journal that says, "This is itching powder. I can make them all pretty distracted and less observant." <laughs> Lazarin's like mind's eye just opens, just like itching powder. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and just, it's like it got itching powder, and it's just like phantom itch. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this the plan? Then we're gonna cause some sort of distraction so some of us can slip in. I suppose. I mean, I, we also do have the dust of disappearance as well. I don't know how that works, but... I mean, I just... Go Shazam and then disappear. And then for a few minutes, more than an hour, just a couple of minutes, everyone who was in the dust is invisible. Oh. Gather more people. It's shorter, but I assume you don't need to be invisible for that long. Get in, hide, and be visible again. I guess the conversation then becomes deciding who's going inside well again I'd, I'll state my case I think I probably should be pretty good being inside considering if it's dark it's kind all of I care about is if we can find a footprint that's a big bear goblin foot then case closed well <laughs> I, I, would mean, assume, I would assume his footprint what does a bear goblin there? look like true but is that if they're as recent as month? late last night or, you know, if they're so, very conveniently dusted in um, mushroom spores or wolf spider hair, you know, then maybe we'll have something. Okay, so back to my earlier question. Who's going in? Who's staying outside? I'll stay outside. I'll go in. Is it worth maybe bringing Oni with us if you're staying outside? No. He's a bird. <laughs> He's doing an excellent piece. Does make a good point there. It, it only was a bird. <laughs> and also, yeah, getting him in is going to be a pain, and he's just going to be less used Ow. indoors with his fucking wingspan. As long as two Kesses put together, like. I mean, that's all I'm not going to lie. I for sort now. of prefer it only as a dog. A Kesses. Only will just like glare at you. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. I don't mean that's it in a bad way. Like, that's, no, that's fucked up. <laughs> you made, it, you made a great you. you made a great dog, Onu. Just like, you made a great dog, octopus yeah. as well, but he is a bird, so... Onu will just like do like the little bird walk and just like to distance himself from you and like stand on the other side of Davian. <laughs> I don't know how this shit works. Was he a bird before he was your bird? Was he... No. So what was he before? A primal spirit. So why is he more comfortable as a bird than anything else? He spent else? more time as a bird. I I manifested him as a bird. Therefore, he's a bird. Have you ever asked him what he'd prefer to be? He seems pretty happy as a bird by the looks of it. I wouldn't know because I don't speak fucking bird. 
feature those birds there. As you say that, uh, Davian, uh, owner will just like nod. <laughs> While they're arguing, I just write do like one of those quick little like two column charts on the ta on on a piece of paper. One one as the heading in, one as the heading out, and then so I write a Lazarus name under in, Davian under out, and then just question marks at the bottom of the page and hold it up to the group. I. We can send Onu up, he can do a little fly around, he can spot where the security is, I can talk to him, he can tell us where they are if we need need to know. He's better outside. I'll then add my name to the in column under a Lazarin. Just hold it up again. Do we want like a roughly even split or do we just want a couple outside or? Uh, I would say... I would say for the sake of ease, it would be more difficult to get more people inside. But Dargan's very fleet of foot and the rest of you can go invisible. So it doesn't I, really make any difference. I really, like I get a Lazarus point, but also Magic Man can send a message. Would be the best person outside to alert us if something's happening. Also, it's going to be oh. dark outside as well as in. I mean, also, like, if I'm inside, surely if there's information that we need to at least go outside... Aren't I going to be good being inside? No, because we can just come out. It's more yeah, like... What if you can't come out? What if something has happened? You need us... You need someone to come now in to help because you can't go out. Well, then I'll just bust out the fucking door. Oh, my what God. What if you can't do... If... Oh right. God, the only thing that I can think you'll need to know is, like, if someone's coming inside and Onu can give a little clatter if, you know, if yeah. he spots anything. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if we waited, it's a very right. distinctive sound. If we waited an hour, I could summon Hawthorne again and then just send him in. I mean, it's not uh, its not even close to dark yet, so we have a lot of time. Very true. A lot of time to waste. I'll go do that. Oh, the return of Hawthorne. Why don't we just make Hawthorne stay overnight? We could just make Hawthorne sit inside overnight. Yeah. And so then we can just go down the street. I just, just sit out here right? somewhere so he can... What hap can what happens if Horhol wants to tell us something, but we're not there? Can he? If I stay within range, he can just tell me telepathically. How far is that? Ten feet. Uh, oh no! <laughs> he can tell me telepathically as long as I'm within earshot. Guess yeah, just sleep <laughs> in an alley. <laughs> could you imagine that's such spell? such like imagine that's such a D and D spell as well. You can you can talk to anybody within five feet of you telepathically. What's the fucking point? <laughs> In a whisper. Just... A verbal component whispering into their ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Some fucking I cast punch level shit. No, you whisper like this verbal component that's like complete nonsense, like like and then they just hear in their it's head. Like, yeah, just like it's like when you mind whispering someone, you're like. Um, and they all hear just like hi, a so. whisper cantrip. <laughs> Literally just yeah, it's just five foot range whisper, verbal whisper, component. A hundred feet. Oh wow. A hundred feet's not super far, but we can make it work. I could just is sit there, on the roof. I mean, how far is the muddy boat from this? From this More warehouse? than a hundred feet. Yeah, I could like, just sit on a uh, roof. Well, well, actually, it's yeah, it's more than a hundred feet, but it's not super far. Like so you can could... see that you can you can see the muddy boat from from the warehouse. So, so we, we could, could sit get... in the boat, have Kess sit halfway, and then she can wave at us while we're drinking if anything important happens. Well, we can we can go we can go to the boat now, and then just like when it gets dark move a table up, up this fucking street. <laughs> uh, yeah. I would like to have Hawthorne in early, though. I, I mean, he, I he, he goes I'd invisible and can fly. With... He, he's going to be able to get in the warehouse without even using Are there the windows into the warehouse? Sorry? Are there windows in the warehouse? Is there yes. any, like... There's windows, yeah. Okay. Are any yeah, I open? doubt the place is airtight, and I also doubt that it's got, like... It's got a laser grid on the inside. Uh, none of them are, are open at the moment. They're all, they're all They're all shut. Okay. Do, uh, yeah, but I'm sure there's, there's any... like gaps in the freaking, you know, roof or whatever. Like, can okay. we see if there are any locks on the windows, or are they just regular? Like, can we see? Even from the outside, you can see if there's a latch sometimes You'll on them. You probably have to get a little closer. Like um, How big's Hawthorne? Small. 
Tiny, right? I'm pretty sure he's tiny. He's a funny little guy. He is. I think his size is tiny. Yeah. Tiny. Got a little, uh, little floating, little. How impeding. big are the window panes? Window panes? Dude. Because he's like, I'm just like, I'm too tired. Like however this. big, like the, you know, there's the window. It's like a rectangular, you know, like a standing yeah. rectangular window, and it's like divided in like six like panes, make up one window. So, okay, that's fine. I have an idea to get Hawthorne on an entry point, but we should probably do that later, otherwise they will... Eh. We should go let Kess summon Hawthorne first. Yeah, right. We'll go... We'll go to the boat? Maybe at least one person... The, the two people should stay here and keep an eye on it until... I'll, I'll hold summon. my hand up as Brooke suggests that. I'll stay as well. Okay, well, you two stay, we'll fuck off, summon Hawthorne, come back, get Hawthorne in, and then fuck off to the boat. I have a proposition, actually, for one of you goes invisible to... Kinky. ...trail Orowart when he finishes and closes up uh, the cracked vial. I mean, all of us can go invisible with the dust but well, right but i'm talking for an extended period of time go invisible wait for him to close up shop follow him and see what he do actually does at the warehouse either me or castle go right i think yeah both yes i mean yeah my invisibility will continue the last couple of minutes i believe so yeah to try for okay time. We can use the spell well like? let's get hawthorne in first and then we'll figure out the rest what's the nearest um building to the warehouse that has like a rooftop that could see the warehouse like how close is the closest building that's either equal height or taller um <clears throat> this is one of the smaller warehouses in the like um in in this row uh it is adjacent to a few um uh trade company warehouses that are uh, significantly taller and bigger Okay, can can I um, find uh, like an, an alley or something like shadowing one of them and climb up the wall and get on the roof of an adjacent building and just get comfy for some a long day of recon? You can um, certainly try. Just before um, Daigon goes, if I see Daigon's like going to walk, like you're starting to walk away or like looking somewhere, I'll get I'll, um, use my Vigilant Blessing on here. Does that just give me advantage on initiative rolls? Yeah, but I'll right, right. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use my feline agility right before I scale the wall to double my movement speed, so I can super fast. You have like crazy climbing speed as well, or what? I, yeah, I have a climbing speed both because of my my cat claws and monk shit. I have a oh. like a climbing speed that's equal to my walking. So you speed. can either climb okay. with claws or you can just uh, run up. A I'm assuming like you're up. gonna try and do this stealthily. Yes, that's why I said I want to look for, like, an alley rather than, like, the brightly lit common street. Like, find the, mm -hmm. maybe the less populous back side of that building and then just, uh, like a... Roll a stealth check for me regardless, but I'll give you advantage because yep. you're, you're trying to, like, uh... You yeah. know, you're in a, in a less obvious place. Oh! Uh, that is 26. 26? What's your climbing speed? When you do all the fucking uh, With shit? feline agility, 80 feet. Yeah, you fucking, you're you're up there. That's no biggie. <laughs> and I and I just get like sit cross-legged, almost like in a meditative stance, but not meditating. Eyes open. I'm just watching the warehouse. Yeah, and uh, you have a good view of the warehouse uh, and like its surroundings. You can see, right now, there's like four uh, security guards that are like stationed, okay. specifically for this uh, for this warehouse. Uh, sometimes a couple of them like. Uh, walk up to each other and discuss something but it's basically there's there's one there's two on like the um, the city side uh, of the warehouse that occasionally will check the alleyways uh on the on those sides as well and then there's two out front uh, on the dock side of the warehouse uh, the... so i'll just be watching for the rest of the day whatever the group decides to do i'm staying up there until nighttime are okay. the warehouses like uh like of all the warehouses in this like sort of district, are they all really close together, or like, um, or, or is it like warehouse like almost oh, like? Oh, uh, there's some distance between them due to, okay. uh, being able to like, 
move large cargo yep. between the warehouses and stuff, so there's a little bit of distance, but close together enough, you know, I guess. Okay, that's cool. I'll, um, <clears throat> I'm going to do, like, sort of stand off to one side for a bit, and then I'm just going to wait for everyone else to uh, come back. But keep a lookout as well, just on ground level. Okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Right, I so... did, correcting myself, I did misspeak earlier. My climbing speed would have been 40 feet, because my climbing uh -huh. speed... My yeah, speed. no, you're fine. Agility. Like, the fact that you have a climbing speed means that, like, there's no really real yeah. need to roll because you can climb. That's part of your, yeah. Yeah, of your being. Um, all right, so you're summoning Hawthorne, Cass? Yeah, I'm going to go summon Hawthorne. Uh, walk, walk me through that. How do, you, how, do you, how do you go ahead and do this? Uh, I'm going to go to the magic shop. Okay. Uh, and ask to use the brazier. All right. Uh, yeah, somebody will walk up to you, and uh, we have a we have a, a, a I'm assuming you mean a brass brazier. Yes. Yes. Uh, we have, we we do charge a five silver fee for the use of the brazier, but uh, if you just pay that now, you can use the one right over there, and he'll point towards like a corner of the shop that is like in a little like closed off like section. I will pay five silver and go do it. Right. So you, uh, this is fine, familiar, right? That's what you're doing. Yeah. So you cast Find Familiar, you go through the, the... How long does it take again? It's like an hour? It's like a pretty long... Yeah. It's a lengthy uh, spell, right? Yeah, it takes it takes an hour. And after an hour, you just just summon this this small little... Is it, is it an imp? No. Mm, face spirit. A face spirit, but he's... Yeah. We've always kind of envisioned him like kind of imp-like, I guess. Imp-like, uh, yeah. yeah. And he just he's just like... He appears in front of you. I'm back! Yeah! yeah. You miss me? Sorry, it's been a while. I did. Yeah, you could have been did. useful so many times. It'd have been great if you could have like sent a bunch of things we fought to sleep on. Well, don't get me killed next time. I will try yeah. not to. <laughs> as um I guess as Kess is away and Daigon's sitting there, I'll send Onu up to sort of sit on the roof. With Daigon. I think they, I, I just kind of like, I guess, like, let him off his leash for a bit, especially while we're by the bay. So if he, like, wants to just mm -hmm. go eat fish or Some something. Fish. Yeah, I know occasionally, like, dip down free. towards the towards the ocean and just, like, but yeah, snag like, a fish out of the ocean. You know, while he's chilling, just to chill with um, Daigon in case anything goes wrong. And, and I'll sort of head head up the docks towards the muddy boat to uh, to take a seat and get a, get a nice light beverage, a nice... Nice IPA, a craft mm -hmm. beer, whatever they've got, you know, on draft. <laughs> yeah, the Muddy Boats is a dwarven run uh, tavern. So as far as uh, drinks goes, um, probably stronger, stout. stronger dark like dwarven beer. stouts, dark dark beers, that Ooh. sort of thing is kind of what's on tap there at the moment, yeah. Yeah, dwarves like mead. I'll, I'll get yeah. a mead. They do have on mead, the, yeah. On the walk. Yeah. Can I look to see if I can find like a fist sized rock or a piece of masonry or brick? Fist uh, sized? Like fist fist sized as in like just Yeah, like decently sized. Okay. Uh make a perception check. Okay. I'm saying uh, just X's house. Eleven. <laughs> eleven? Maybe not fist sized, but there's a couple of smaller smaller rocks that uh like loose like like p pieces of rock that like chipped off of, like the the the, the pavement that kind of just like are there now l laying by the by the road or by the dock. Okay. That Maybe not like as big as a fist, but like yeah, you... like big, hefty enough. If your intention I... is to chuck it, it's it'll it'll okay, serve cool. that purpose. Yeah. Perfect. My intention actually was to collect it. I collect rocks now. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. So do you backsway, bro? You, you got you got rock yeah. pets. I, oh, this is. <laughs> I love how non-specific it was, though. Like, uh, yeah, a random bit of masonry or whatever, but it's a collectible. <laughs> <laughs> it's less about the rock; it's more about the act of collecting. But this one is called Clive. Okay. A pet rock. A pet rock. Okay. Isn't that a SpongeBob episode? Doesn't Patrick Star have like a pet rock? Or anyway, don't um, they race pet rocks? What? Didn't, don't they okay. race them at some point? Back to Rocco is yeah. a rock. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Rock right. was not alive. Uh, does anyone else want to do some prep before uh, the uh, the evening falls? I'll explain oh, I, to Hawthorne what's going on. 
I want to see cast how expedition long mm -hmm. Hunter's Mark lasts. What's the duration of Hunter's Mark? An hour, I think. Only up to an hour. Yeah. Yeah, I won't bother then. I was gonna. I was thinking of just like Hunter's marking uh, the goblin and just being like, yeah, I'll check in on him. <laughs> But, um, oh, and I'm on the rooftop. I'm specifically looking to see if any the, there's ever any movement in the windows, or if the guards ever do anything unusual, like out of character, or looks like okay. sketchy. Uh, throughout the afternoon and like early evening, no. Um, okay. Once everybody is in position uh, or like ready to to like collect, you know, you you guys gather back where um, where you initially met up. You know, those those who go to the boats go to the boats. Those who stand wherever stand wherever like those are getting ready to go inside and all that stuff uh, you see, you down see, a little bit. um at some point you see ori warts coming by because he said he, he does like yeah. an e like after he closes his shop he, he comes to check follow? sorry not yet is it just me what i, I see him in the evening. i'm i'm well, i told I, I said to i said to tail him from the shop oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shop, oh, right? wait, it's a and that's what Dutch I mean, is just no, describing. Because, we, just wondering. because it was going to be me and Cass, and Cass is still summoning Hawthorne. Oh, sorry, I, I completely missed no, that. That's is... my bad. No, I completely missed that. Sorry. Um, well, this is hours after the, the yeah, summoning. Like, at some point... The summoning only took an hour. Yeah, so at some point, if you're waiting like in the trade district, like waiting for him to close up shop and go to the docks, yeah, you'll have an opportunity to like follow him. Are you trying mm -hmm. to remain undetected? I assume yes, but are, okay. we, are we going to put Hawthorne in before we tail... Only walk, Val. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So at some point so you'll 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 go to the, the to the warehouse. Uh, the I take thorn, one of like, the rocks. Oh. And I throw it through the window, out trying to remain somewhere uh, outside. Just roll an attack with like a, I guess it's like an it's just like a an improvised weapon, I suppose. Fuck it. Um. So just D twenty plus strength. Dex. Strength. Okay. Uh, do I proficiency in improvised weapon? No. Um, 22. 22, yeah, you fucking... Rock goes through window, a couple of the guards hear it, and like, what the bloody fuck? And, and like, are looking around now, like, where did that come from? I duck away into an alley? Make stealth check? I'll... 17? Hopefully not one of the alleys either side of the <laughs> well. Um They don't seem to notice you, and they, they, they just, like, look around confused for a while, and then eventually one of them goes to, like, collect the fucking pieces of glass and then throw it away. Now Hawthorne has an open window. There's a window leave. in the window for Hawthorne. <laughs> there is a window in the window for Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne will go invisible and... It's so what do I do? Fly inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you if you see anything, anything of anyone like stealing anything mm -hmm. or any any suspicious noises or anything like that, what's considered a suspicious noise? Uh, like a uh, lock being picked. Mm -hmm. What about rumbling, shaking, mm, footsteps? Yes, any footsteps yelling, and whispering? especially yeah, 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 whispering especially maybe not yelling. Not water. Book, book f you know, rummaging, you know, running through a book like pages. Rummaging through stuff in the stock room, yeah. Mm. What about wind? Sometimes wind can make Wind noise. is wind is not suspicious. <laughs> what about um, you know, the clattering of pots and pans, making bacon, and noise Neither out for of those. Mm. No, none of those. Okay. And yeah. then sounds good. Tell me. Cool. What about children yelling? Children yelling is probably fine. Okay. Not suspicious. Okay. Unless unless they're yelling for help, which case that would be suspicious. I mean, is that suspicious or is that just children yelling for help? If the children are yelling from inside the warehouse, that might be a little suspicious. That is even more suspicious. What about dogs barking? No. Cats meowing, birds chirping, horse neighing. No. The horse is neighing inside the warehouse. <laughs> That'd be pretty fucking weird. So there's a lot of noises I gotta. <laughs> there could be a lot of noises. Mm. Can we just, just say like... any noise? I just let you know, like, hey. 
No, because if you hear like any noise loads, you just hear like people walking. Actually, yeah, just do that because I can just I can just say what's Chew important. You out. <laughs> I can I can I can say what's important, what's not important. You do that a lot. Is that, is that a thing you usually do? No. Mm. Okay. Because sometimes uh, you could say something that is important. Sometimes. Quite a lot of the time. Hmm. Actually. Do you know who never says anything important? Nymphs. Oh. Always useless. What? Very wishy-washy. All of them? Pretty much. Hmm. Okay. Can be useful, though. Mm hmm Alright. I'll let you know if any dogs bark. I'll, I'll go. Okay, bye. I'm <laughs> like, shh. Fucks off. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's now being telepathically paged anytime any noise happens ever. It is important. Ways of crashing against the ducks. Is this important? <laughs> is this important? Is this important? No. At some point in that evening, I know about five thousand just because I start barking like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I hear a dog barking. I hear a lesbian talking. Okay. Uh, cool. So that's done. You then uh, we'll get to we'll go to unless there's anything else somebody wants to do. Uh, it gets to. Uh, Closing time of the shop, and you start to follow uh, Ori Wart as he's visible. making his way towards the docks. Are you trying to be <gasps> stealthy? Yes. Make a stealth check, please. I'm assuming that applies to me as well. I son. Advantage because of invisibility, right? If you're turning invisible, invisible, yeah. Before we get there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will turn invisibility uh, invisible. Into I love the thought of them being invisible and like side by side and like keep bumping into each other and shit because they can't <laughs> make us see one. Of them. In the end, we have to hold hands <laughs> just to not fucking bump into each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it stealth? Was so, the boss skipping? Thirty twenty plus ah twenty four. All right. Twenty three. I I mean, yeah, no, there's no no, no shot. Actually invisible. Um, yeah, you make your way to the docks. Um, he he walks up, and one of the guards goes, oh, "Somebody bloody chucked a rock through your window." And Ori will just go, "Me? Did you see anything? Like, who did it? Do you know?" And and the guards goes, "Oh, we didn't really didn't really see much. We looked, but uh, and Ori Warts just like looks at the guard and just fuck you." And walks into the <laughs> walks into the, uh, the opens the door, goes inside for a bit, looks around. Uh, Hawthorne will like page like somebody entered, somebody entered, somebody inside. I can see him from outside. I can see him from outside. He owns the warehouse. It's cool. No, but this is one of those not important things. Tell me what he's doing. Looking through some boxes. And he whipped out a notepad. Now he's writing some stuff down. I think he's Can leaving. It? I think he's leaving. Taking and then he, he he like only spends a few minutes in there and then comes back Ooh. out. And uh, takes his leave. Not carrying anything. Not carrying anything, no. Hmm. And uh, takes his leave. That seemed fine. Well, I guess we'll follow him and see what he does, I guess. Hmm. Davian sitting at the muddy boat, feet kicked up. <laughs> While well, everyone else, like Diagon's on the roof and fucking Kess and Davian uh, and Lazarus are having Kess a nice time. and Brooks party. are sneaking <laughs> around, and I'm just there like. <laughs> you and Jax Ella. are just like yeah, drinking. Yeah, that's one. That's one. Still like take a drink for the other two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doesn't so you. Huh? Oh shit. I'm not gonna take the glasses or whatever away from the bar. Get beaten up. Harry Potter. Oh, you, come on. You think dwarves, proud dwarves who own this establishment sell beer by the bottle? Come on. You could, I'm sure they sell a drink in a bottle if Davian asked nicely. Excuse me, mate. Do you sell a drink in a bottle? Hey. No. All right. I said hey. You said hey. Hey. Come again. Hey. That means yes. Like eight? Oh, why don't you just say yes? You had to insult me or order a drink? Do you have anything in a bottle? 
Ahí. No, oh, se cree. I said, do you have anything in the bottle? Aye. Yes. Yes. Okay. What have you got? Um... <laughs> Guess Bell's gone. I like to imagine this is in character and this dwarf is just wetting himself. <laughs> I've got some ciders. Uh, some, some more, um, you know, non-dwarven beers. Two ciders, as well. Please. Two ciders. Yeah. All right, that'll be two silver. I'll give him. <laughs> I inhaled two... some of my. I'll give, th I'll give him three silver. You know that was. Appreciate it. Enjoy. Thanks. No, I just added three silver. Does oh. he take the the tops off before serving them? No, it's like it looks like a little cork and just like. I Does tried. he take his top it's off it. before serving them? Oh, no. no, not three silver. <laughs> and uh yeah i'll i'll walk bar. out walk out of the bar in the, the hundred feet or whatever that, that brooks and oh they're invisible oh it's not it's, like john, it's I, like john travolta i <laughs> meant <laughs> he's like... we're not we're not even there we're following my guy <laughs> I, meant... following the other dude. <laughs> I just, you're just, um, doing, me. You're just doing that for no <laughs> reason <laughs> i like get halfway to the docks and i'm like oh wait Oh fuck it! <laughs> just, go back, <laughs> just go back to the bar. But if I get... can, I see that from my rooftop. Dabby yeah, just probably. You, you, you the... see Dabby with two bottles. Right, then, while he's standing there, I'm gonna climb down from my roof and go. And as he turns to go back, you just feel yoink, and I just take one of them in front of your heads and appear behind you and just start drinking it. Right. Enjoy. I'll go back. Go back to the muddy boat and I'm drinking I, by I myself. Meant, I meant taking in the last room the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Ah, oh, fuck. This okay. man's stupid. So, uh, at this point, uh, a couple hours into the, like, evening proper, uh, Daigon, you'll probably see this the easiest, because you're, like, overlooking it all from a rooftop. I came down to take the drink. Oh, did you not climb? I, I assumed you would just climb back up, but if you're... Oh, yeah, 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 I'll climb back up, yeah. Um... It just happened later. You'll notice that suddenly the four guards. Do I have to make a, a check to climb with a beer. In my nah, nah. <laughs> nah, I put it in your mouth. Uh, you notice that the By four the guards and Elazar, you see this as well, and uh, Davin, you can see this as well from where you're sitting from the muddy boat. Notice oh. that the four guards are all gathering out front and they just leave. I. Okay. Seeing... It's corrupt. Seeing that, I'm going to kind of go to the. Kind of like, we'll go to the rooftop that I saw uh, Daigon mm -hmm. climb up. Yeah. And kind of just Daigon. Yeah, as ah, as the Lazarin says that, I'll just like wave at a Lazarin, like as an acknowledge that I heard him, and then I'm gonna. How close is the roof to the warehouse roof? What's the what's the space? Uh, like fifteen feet away, and then also like a, like say like a ten foot drop and as I'll well. Kind of, I'll kind of like try and I'll wave the like okay. dust file. Um, in my hand and like try to get Dyke's attention still. Dyke. Is the roof I'm standing Dyke. on 10, have at least 10 feet? Yeah. Like higher? Checking the rules for a long jump movement. Oh, right. You got to get a run up. It's a yeah. number of feet up to your strength score as long as you get a 10 foot run yeah, up. Yeah, you, you're in, on one of the bigger warehouse roofs, so you're, you'll be able to get that run up easily. Oh, fuck me. I'll, uh, tell me if this works, because my my strength is not good. So it, that's still only mm -hmm. 10 feet, and it's 15 feet. But if I use my feline agility, does that also but double my long jump? You're also, Ooh, like, feet. higher up, so... Uh, you are higher up. On top uh, of that, you have a climb speed. You could always miss a little and climb the legs. Yeah, length. like... <laughs> then... Yeah, okay, so I'll get a running jump and then just... just make a... To... I mean, uh, my plan was to window. get in the window. I was going to jump I mean, to it and then just I mean, climb, before, fall down into I mean, a window. before this is kind of happening, Yeah, I'm... Talk to Daigon and I'm like Daigon, and like she wears like she wears, and I'm just holding up the one of the vials of the dust that disappears. I'm like Daigon, Daigon, Daigon. I want to make the down. jump. I want to climb Dagen, down, down. and climb back up. That looks stupid. Dagen, I really want. you <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll climb Dagen. down because the Lazarus will shut up, and I don't want him to blow our cover. So I'll climb down. <laughs> I'm really sad that I don't get like Daigon to just like dive through the window. Yeah, it was gonna be some like Assassin's Creed shit, but oh well. Yeah, but you get um, to do it at this point as well. By the way, what? 
because a few more hours have gone by in the meantime, you two that are that were following Ollie Warts, like he goes home and stays there for pretty much the rest of the evening. So it's, if any if at any point you're like, eh, as far as we know. Yeah, I mean, yes, but like, I don't know if you're yeah. planning on like sh being at his house the entire evening. I'm gonna or... get in bed with him. Okay. <laughs> My question being, do you intend on like after spending X amount of time Staking at his out. house, are you gonna like be like, ah, oh, we'll go back to the docks, or are you gonna stake out the house the entire time? Is what Should I'm we stay here? Should we check on the others? Uh, I think we should probably go back. I don't think this is gonna lead anywhere. Unless he comes... Uh, yeah, and if true. he comes back, we're gonna see it anyway. True, true. Well, at the very least, we know we went straight home. Yeah. So at this point, ass, at this point we'll say that... Uh, you're, you'll, you'll be back at the docks, and you also saw the, the four guards like gather up and just dip. So if I climb down, is Elazarin, are you using the dust on me, or are you just giving me the dust to use? I'm later? using it on both of us, dude. Okay. <laughs> Cool. We're invisible now. Thank so, you. like, you you take a pinch, uh, like one like one serving. I think I said it was. Did I, I tell you how many? I got three. three servings. Three. So yeah, you take one serving and you just you just chuck it up and it's you Daigon just whew, disappear from sight. And I and then now that I'm invisible, I just a bit more leisurely, no feel agility, but just carefully climb up again and find a window into the warehouse. And if I can open it, let myself in. If not, I'll break it. But, well, why, why, why are you going into the warehouse? Because I want to go into the warehouse. Because we've got our man on the I inside. Wanna. We, we've got, we've got the man on the inside just letting but us know. The man know on the inside only happens. communicates with Kess, and I want to see. Davian's not there. I know. I'm. That's why I'm talking out of character. I just want yeah. to know why we're busting and windows like, cause, in. Because the man because on the inside what... only speaks with Kess, and I want to be it's in what there her for character myself. Would do. Okay. okay. I mean, yeah. Um... There's reason. Window not open, but you can easily just like. But does it have? It's not like a window that, like the window itself can open. It's just a. Uh, it can, standard. but there's like a, a thing on the inside which you can't oh. like access. Okay. It's like, like, it's like, it's like a latch. I'll just break it since I saw the guards walk away. I'm not worried about the noise. Okay. I'm gonna oh, climb in. Oh, I have to roll. It's like it's windows are expensive, before. and this guy's paid us to find his burglar, and we're doing more damage to his property. <laughs> he can keep like, my share. Minute. He can keep my share to fix his windows. We're there you go. We're You're happy? Just so you know, we're invisible for six minutes. Okay. There you go. Cool. Are you staying outside, Lazarin? Like, what are you doing? I want to go. Um, just who the fuck got the key? Davian, I thought. Motherfucker. <laughs> I well, I'm not the bar with. Key. Well, uh, when I when the key off Davian, because <laughs> well, when Dutch mentioned that we'd see the guards leave, I was going to say yeah. I would bring Jax. Yeah. And probably stand somewhere on the docks closer to the building that doesn't look too like that wouldn't look too suspicious to loiter like we'll just kind of hang around with like a cider bottle each mm -hmm. at the docks and just kind of try and i guess get a bearing for where everyone is and make sure okay. everyone's sort of prepared for yeah, anything to happen so by, i want to be by the sort of door if i can is there like any supplies like right next to the door i can kind of get to mm -hmm. like i just want to kind of get to there whilst invisible just getting there invisible and then like being visible, like just right next to the door, see if anyone comes to the door. Okay, okay. So um, cool, cool, cool. Diagon, you're inside. Uh, obviously, Kes, you get like a port or two. I heard a window smash. I don't see anybody though. Our latest works. Oh, sh fuck. I guess we better head over. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> good. Oh, racing. <laughs> just running. It's like I'm faster. Get fucked. Fucking Hawthorne doesn't see Daigon, but he he like is a invisible. window <laughs> smash, and like yep. when the window smash, heard like somebody like opening the windows. He's like, that? <laughs> just it's definitely suspicious activity. <laughs> <laughs> As Daigon realizes, she's locked out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Starts crashing the door. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah you Kes, get reported that there somebody opened the window but he can't see anyone this is going great <laughs> <laughs> i love this just tell okay. him to do tell him to do what he did to me and shoot him in the ass how he doesn't see anyone 
Where's he gonna aim? Anywhere. <laughs> just start firing arrows. He's just running inside the building. <laughs> I think if he if, if he, he shoots in every direction, eventually he'll hit something. Yeah, but they'll also be able to see him. His invisibility will drop. My first thought was not very pleasant, so but let's just leave it at that. You just said you yeah, you should just let him die again. You can summon him back. <laughs> and he yeah, did shoot expensive. me in the ass. He's really so talking shit about everybody's like pets and homies. Like talking shit about Onu, talking shit about. I, do you know what? Yeah, mad shit about Brooks, Onu. Dude. Brooks didn't talk shit about Onu at all. Yeah, he fucking did. He just liked right. Onu as a so, dog. What's happening, gamer gang? We're heading back to the warehouse because, mm -hmm. as far as we know, Davian someone's stood, broke in. Let's just stood up the docks from the warehouse. Side yeah, of so glass, you'll see side Jackson of and Davian uh, standing close, like on the docks, but like close to the warehouse. I will um, just, I will just else. whisper. Um, Hawthorne says someone broke the window, climbed in, and is inside. Okay, and I, I guess Jax and I will follow the mysterious voice <laughs> towards <laughs> the warehouse. Because we've been busy in the last an hour, dude, it's been like four. <laughs> right? Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, yeah, that's true yeah. it, they wouldn't yeah, be invisible yeah. anymore. Yeah, you guys probably, your invisibility, invisibility would have dropped, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I guess I'll make a beeline for the warehouse since I've got the key. Okay. Uh, a Lazarin, who is still invisible. So I... uh, yeah, for a couple of minutes, yeah. <laughs> you see, like, all your friends, like, approaching the warehouse. Do I see, like, a group of people? Do I st Can I see them or friends? Is it slightly too dark? I'm like, a group of people come to the door. <laughs> no, you see, you see them. Like, the street's lit up properly. And, like, okay. the moonlight kind of, like, uh, bounces off of the water, reflecting, uh, reflecting lights, like, on this part of the harbor. So it's, it's, yeah. It's uh, do I, are my friends in like a fucking hustle? Or are they like trying to be sneaky? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Power walking. <laughs> I'm there with the fucking key, oh, key of... ring or whatever in my hand. Oh. Where yeah, the fucking like... guards go? Key, I got the key. I'll go, I'll go oh shit, halfway. someone's killed the guards. I'll kind of come out halfway and just be like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Apparently someone broke the window. Someone broke the window. I'm oh, invisible, by the way. I'm oh fuck. <laughs> Yeah, you just hear him, but you don't see him. Yeah, we all recognize Lash's voice. Hawthorne yeah. told Cass that someone broke in. And yeah, Dagen. The window. Dagen. Yeah. Why, why? did Dagen break it? Break in? Why? Because you guys Shh. went. Because you guys went. There was no one there. We didn't know when why you guys were back. Leave? But Hawthorne was in I there. I just left a while ago. I don't know why. I wasn't close enough to hear I why. I thought it they was kind of all together. security. Well, clearly fucking not. They all grouped up together, had a little talk, and then fucked off. So they've been paid off. Okay, good to know. Right, and well, then inside, because the you way. weren't here, Daigon went. Me, I made Daigon invisible. Like I'm now invisible, and then went in. This really is. So just we should stay fuck. scarce then. Yes, At this point, give me the key. Uh, I'm Daigon. There's been a few I'm just finding out. a hiding point or a hiding place. <laughs> if there's nothing, if there's nothing that draws my attention, just find like a shelf, a stock shelf to hide behind. That gives me also a view of the door. Yeah, sure. That's, that's uh, I'm, this I'm point, you'll, you'll, you'll start hearing some, uh, some rumbling. And Hawthorne also immediately like hearing stuff again. Mm. And what, what, Daigon, what? you I mean, gonna... see as like a particular part of the like tiled floor. Some no, floor this tiles, is why I wanted to come Some floor tea. tiles start to come like off. Like I knew. I fucking knew. I'm and so you smart. can see emerging from like a, some kind of space under the floor tiles five hooded individuals and they begin rummaging through boxes and shelves and art hoodies okay. Thugs. can i see can i see which hawthorne the like, open window hawthorne reports this to you Cassie. i am immediately telling everyone around me what was that okay like? well i unlock the fucking door never mind i unlock okay, okay. the door you unlock the door sneaky no, like you like or are we just fucking i, I said i want to go in what's up Mara? Which one looks? Do they all look roughly same? Because they're just hood. They're just hood individuals. Roughly yeah. same height or range? Do they look like, humanoid? They're all between like they're all between like five and six feet tall. Uh, all right. They're all wearing like not the same but similar. Just like just dark clothing that has a hood to like right. hide their their hair or whatever. 
Assuming um, that I know Hawthorne's in here, Hawthorne's going to tell them they'll get in here eventually. I'm mm -hmm. going to immediately just find whatever one looks the smallest, I guess, therefore least threatening, while I still have the advantage of invisibility and engage. Or just jump in the middle of the group and start trying to swing in the spear around, hit as many as I can. Ninja. Okay, shit. fuck it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fucking go for it. Roll attack. Jump in with spinning it, looking all badass. Okay. Not wanting coming Roll for attack. Don't you? Oh, don't yeah, even. But... You you jinxed it. It was hovering. It was about to be a fourteen, and then it rolled over to a four, as you said that one. So I play me every me. every time you describe something cool happening. I know. <laughs> you roll yeah, shit. Yeah, kind of a thing so... for Laura, huh? <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. but that's an eleven total. Eleven total. That is eleven not total. Maybe they're squishy. Oh, okay. That don't hit. Do I get advantage because it was a surprise attack and I'm invisible? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Hey, okay, try again. Oh, yeah, six. Yeah, that one. Hey, 26. That does hit, yeah. Pog. And I'm only doing it one-handed spear damage because I'm, like, swinging it around, probably. And he's the other one to kind of steady it back mm -hmm. again. Oh, that's a D8. Need a D6. Okay. Hey, max damage. 10 piercing damage on whoever I hit first. 10 piercing damage. Okay. I uh, get two attacks now. You, get, you do have two attacks, yeah. Oh, fine. Uh, okay, 22. No, 23. 23? Yeah, hits. Yeah. Max damage again. Another 10 points of piercing God damage. Damn. Can, I kill, can I kill someone before they even get in here? Uh, don't kill someone, but one of them... <laughs> uh, like, you, you then, like, your invisibility drops, right? I'm pretty yeah, because sure, I attacked. Pretty sure attacks drop invisibility. Yeah, uh, attacks and spell casting uh, usually. Just double yeah. Check if the dust is different. Because who knows? don't think so. If I could keep my invisibility, that'd be dope. Oh yeah, a creature, a creature affected by dust attacks or passes. Okay. There you go. Uh, at that you point, see, uh, see the rest of you like barge in through the door, or are you like, oh, yeah, are you just doing, opening the like door, a... just going, or? I'm literally gonna go like yep. so. Is is it like one of the doors where it's like an up like that sort of like? Oh wait. Or is it across? It's uh, it's across. Like Question. the barn door sort of thing. The, yeah. Yeah. So that you're like, un unlock it, back right. Three, this two, isn't one. a full. Let's go this, isn't, this isn't a full round of combat. I just got attacked. I don't get yeah, to do he's got, bonus he's got action to, to, to okay. fucking get a get a lick in. Yeah, like a surprise round. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Kind of see the key cool. like semi. Oh, yeah, it's a tool, but you, like the lock will come off, and then I was like, okay, guys, ready? Three, two, one, and then kind of like open up quite. All right. At that point, you already see Diagon like surrounded by five. Uh, hooded individuals. Uh, one of but them, you can, uh, must spear, yeah, swinging, right? swinging her spear around. Uh, three of them like turn to look at the door opening and just hear them like one of them under their breath just goes fuck. Roll initiative. <laughs> like, Yay! And die. Yeah, I, I have to... advantage on that too, right? Yeah, I have vigilant blessing still. Can't wait to kill these guys and find in one of them's pocket that they've got like a little note that's like, "Dear Ma and Pa, I'm sorry I went back to stealing, but your medical <laughs> bills are too high." Who's rolling for Jax? I'll roll for Jax, I guess, because I did his combat last time. So, I have a question real Both quick. Oh shit, rolls. Is that so? One of my cantrips, uh, Create Bonfire, mm -hmm. is a 1d8 fire damage. And it says the spell's damage increases by 1d8 when you reach 5th level. Okay? That's 5th level in Warlock. Which, right, but the damage roll is shown as 2d8. That's weird. Yeah, D&D Beyond doesn't always tend... Mm. But Eldritch Blast, hmm? Eldritch Blast is 1d10, even though Eldritch Blast would also gain another d10 no, at fifth level. Cantrips no, cantrips are war, based on um, class. Warlock, Warlock, you don't get your second, um, you can get two for Eldritch Blast. When you reach fifth level in Warlock, you can use it twice. You, It's still 1d10 oh, like, damage, but you make two separate two beams, beams, right? Two beams. Yeah. It, is, it so, is character level, not class level. So your Eldritch Blast now fires two beams, and your bomb fire does 2d10. Yeah. Oh, so it's nothing to do with the class level. Nice. No. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm coming out of the gate as a warlock with freaking oh, big I damage thought it would on the be cantrips. Class level, not, not, nope. no, yeah, I thought it would as well. It's, it's to just... make cantrips scale as you level up higher. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Hold on. Uh, okay, okay. we're doing initiatives. Feet, so... Alright, cool. Second. One second. In theory, if anyone takes the stones from him, do they also gain a level in Warlock? Walk around and find out. Because Wait, didn't they, like, immolate? The power was... No one else could even touch the stones. 
Yeah, you, 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 yeah, you can go set on fire when we touch the stones. Yeah. I'm going to make a deal with your fire, daddy. Right, initiatives 20 plus. Uh, dirty 20. A Hawthorne got dirty 20. Yeah, two dirty 20s. 24. Ooh. Davian with a 24. What dex does Hawthorne have? Plus four. Plus four? What the fuck? He's a, oh, he's a dexterous he's, boy. And he still he's shot me in quick. the ass. He's got like 19 <laughs> or 20 decks. What the? Looks he rolled in that one, that one. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Anyone else? Any boss? Right. 15 oh, Laura, to 20. Did you do a Laura? I did. Not not no. full on Laura, but like a half Laura. You had, a, you had a vibe, no 15 I know. I know. Uh, that, that. I. Oh, no. I got 13. Okay, so 10 to 15. Like 10 to 15. I also got Sorry. 13. My, my dex, I should specify. Yeah. My dex is 18, so it's probably higher than yours. I have a. I have another question uh, since I've never multi class. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Dagon goes first. I've only got plus three. Then Brooks. Uh, who's rolling for Jax? Uh, yeah, I rolled for Jax. It's not good. Mm -hmm. He was surprised. He was surprised. It's a yeah. seven. Seven. What did you roll, Cass? Uh, nine. Uh, nine. I'm give you more time to figure out what he's going to do. Yes, seven for Jax. Aye. Aye. All right. What's up, Duke? What spell slots is is my packed slot? Because I have range of spell slots and I have mm -hmm. a packed spell slot. Mm -hmm. So I can't use range of spell slots to cast Warlock spells, right? You can. I can. Yeah. In every other multi-class scenario, you gain spell slots based on your combined caster levels. Yeah, there's a multi-class spell table Warlock... that just has spots. No, no, no. So Warlocks are different. Your Warlock oh. is the only multi-class where your spells are separate. So True. you regain your Warlock spells on a short rest, but you don't regain your Warlocks, but you can choose to use either spell slots for either class's spell list. So okay, you can cast okay, Warlock you. spells with Ranger and vice versa. Cool. Nice. There you go. Alrighty. Um, um, the first person... I'm grateful for it. Um, the... Wait, do I have a Lazarus? Yeah, I do have a Lazarus. Okay, we're good. Uh, Bandit numero uno. It's the one that uh, just got his shit kicked in by Daigon. Whips out a rapier. And... Uh... Ooh, Wait, actually, this guy rolled higher than 24? Natural 20. <sighs> and he... Natural 20 for a total of 24. So that's... What... Oh, right, yeah. Um. Oh. He may get up and just start pacing. He's not gonna. Room I mean, he is gonna ready so his hot, ready like, his rapier, but he's also to my chair. going to cast spiritual weapon. Oh, we got a cleric. Um, and he places the spiritual weapon by the door that just swung open, as there's just four to wait, five. People that just like are at the door for the spiritual weapon to swing at. Um, the spiritual weapon just looks like a very, very like pretentious looking rapier, almost like a lot of like fine like Fancy guard. detailing. <laughs> um, let's see, a Lazarus is still invisible technically. Mm -hmm. So it is going. I'm just going to roll a d4 then and see what the spiritual weapon is going to hit. Hey, Jax, uh, he's not here. Oh. Hit me. Um, it's gonna go for Davian. Oh, rude. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have to worry about spell slots if you're unconscious. Bro. True. Oh. He's doing you a favor. Uh, Knock me out, a father. 17 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that hits. So yeah, this this spiritual weapon, this this rapier floats towards you, and I think it's how many? How much damage is that? One. Uh, D8 one plus uh, just base level. D8. Nice. One D8 plus your yeah. wisdom or spell casting. Oh, that's max damage. Uh, that is 12 points of force damage. Does this count as the cleric damaging me? Uh, Why? Hellish rebuke. Mm. I would say technically yes, but doesn't... Yeah, no, I mean, it's... Yeah, the description of spiritual weapon is you can make a melee spell attack using spiritual Yeah, so the, weapon. Yeah, the, 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 the hooded individual is technically the one orchestrating it. So yeah, yeah. You could hellish rebuke that if you wanted to. 
What is it, a reaction? How does your book is a reaction, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck it, dude. I mean, I get whacked by the spiritual weapon and I just point my finger and my eyes light up and he just fucking lights up, dude. Fuck Make yeah. a dexterity saving throw. What do you rebuke him with? What do you say? Art. Gunt. <laughs> just a little uh, more demonic. Cunt. Puff of smoke out of my That mouth. is a 12. <laughs> he actually failed. Oh my God. That is epic can fail you, XD. Can you roll more of those when I try and do Holy things like stuff? shit. Sorry. I don't have any D10s out. Oh God. Oh, get a D10. Get just a D10 roll the D5 and double it. D5. That's the joke. God, everything's falling over. That's right, the joke. What's the D10? Only D20 and half. Toho. Two D10 fire damage on a failed save. He's about to get Bamba. blasted, dude. Uh, ten. D uh, ten, ten points fire damage. damage. Yep. You just hear him like he just screams as he just did not expect to just be surrounded by this like vortex of fire as soon as the spirit's weapon like got a lick in. Um. That was, however, only his bonus action, right? Yeah, so he does still have an action. Uh, so with the rapier that he has out, he is just going to try and give a stab at uh, Daigon. Because she's right there. Fucking guy me? Hang on, what the fuck? Huh? <laughs> is this fucking guy me? <laughs> Spirit <laughs> weapon has a rapier as well. I guess so. Uh, Daigon, that is a 15 to hit. Does that hit? What is Misses, this bitches. Misses? All right, so yeah, you... Is golden nunchucks? What? <laughs> Hey, what's his spiritual I weapon? said, what's his spiritual weapon? It's just a very, it's like, a eloquent, pretentious-looking rapier. Oh. Uh, you manage to just dash out, like, d dash out of the way as you see the rapier just, like, coming to, to pierce you in, in the torso. And that is his turn. Davian. Yeah, pissed off with this dude. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot him. Go for it. I'm gonna shoot him. I just had a thought, and... We'll see. Right, if this hits, we've got we've got some talking to do. Oh boy, it's a natural one, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. As uh, my my eagerness to fucking set people on fire, I've apparently forgotten how to use a bow, and I just fair enough. Go to knock the arrow and thunk, lose it. Like somehow God. it just goes backwards. Like it like curves. Some kind of like weird like wind just like takes it and it just goes. Just over your head, like it's into the like towards the ocean. Like, does it hit Hawthorne? Your whirlwind. Does it hit Hawthorne? Yes. I no. Imagine. <laughs> uh, I'm alive. <laughs> how 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 big is the interior of this warehouse? Uh, it's like a twenty foot wide, fifty foot deep, uh, one story storage storage space. I'm going to uh, move stepped. I'm going to step to one side and I guess call Onu from the roof. Mm -hmm. And he is going to... I, He has a movement of 60 feet, so he probably won't be able to get from the roof and reach the guys inside, mm -hmm. I assume. Yeah. But in, the, you know, in that round, he is going to fly down and try and glide between and through the doors towards our opponents and like up into the, into the uh, warehouse. Okay, yeah, sure. Fuck it. Okay. Uh, and that'll that'll be my turn. Alrighty. Uh, it's Hawthorne's turn now. Uh, he's gonna shoot uh, the one in um, that attacked Dagon. Okay. Yeah, one attack. Oh, it's been a while since I've played Hawthorne. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> six. Six does not hit, so like does not hit. Tiny little bow, invisibility drops, he just pew and just pew, misses. And he's just like, it's it's been a while, alright. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Alrighty. Uh does he move anywhere or does he stay put? Nah. Okie dokie. He stays where he is. Uh Lazarin. Moy. Um what the fuck do I want to do? Who, uh, I've not really seen any of these other hooded figures like looking. Uh, they don't look like anyone looking more important. You know, like, they all look the same, don't they? None of them look like super. Yeah, like they're not wearing the same. It's not like that they're wearing a uniform. They just all wear oh, like dark clothing with a hood. Yeah. Then they got like a really fucking big weapon on them. I can see. Oh, like. Look, uh, look make a perception check. Uh, twenty-three. 
Uh, 23. You notice that all, all of them either have daggers or rapiers uh, dangling from their belt. But you do, not, you do notice that uh, two of them... Also, you can make out uh, that there's like some kind of crossbow on their backs right, for two of them. Okay. I will. In that case, I will just... What the fuck do I want to do, bro? Yeah, fuck, I'll just spiritual weapon. Fuck it. Okay. Fuck it, bro. <laughs> um, I'll send it next to the one that one of the ones that has a crossbow. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in there and I will uh, summon the nunchucks and attack with it. So you're, yeah. you're targeting one of the boys with the crossbow, yeah? Yeah, one of the crossbows, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I'm assuming 12 is not going to hit. 12 doesn't hit, no. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, I'll then bonus action, sacred flame, the other crossbow one. So I need to be Dex save. Oh, natural one, Pog. That's now 2d8. Nice. For nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. And I'm gonna just sort of scoot off to one side. Like, is there like a box line I can hide behind? Yeah, sure. You can. Yeah, you can. You can. I mean, you, box. Can, you can try to hide. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hide isn't. I'm just gonna stand behind a box. Yeah, I'm just gonna like have some kind of cover, I guess, is what, uh, yeah. what you're trying to do. Yeah. No, that's yeah. fine. Absolutely. Be my, that'd be I my have tip. To be really bad, so I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, ba -ba bam. One of the bandits is gonna break off. Well, technically, I guess technically because you're surrounded by them, Dagon. Technically, him breaking off from that group gives you an attack opportunity if you wanted to, uh, just quickly, like, oh, yeah. make an attack. In my, pick, in my head, it's because this be, it was still, like, it's spinning around. It just catches them as they leave. That is caught. Oh! Mm -hmm. Natural 20. Natural 20? Nice! If I roll max damage again, that would be great. Go on. Nope, I rolled a 1 on the damage die, because it's a crit. That's so, just that so is... typical. That is right. That is very me. That is a total <laughs> of six points of damage. Hey man, damage. I mean, you know, for a free attack, fuck it. Right? Yeah, you know, I'll take so what he I can get. turns I can around. Fight. You manage to like just with the spear, like kind of jab him, and he's just like, oh, does continue to move, and he walks up to, um, he'll probably walk up to Brooks because he's looking for just like the biggest looking uh person in that group. Which would be Brooks in this case, and he takes out his rapier and is just going to. I mean, Jax is way more. Would it be Jax? Jax. Oh yeah, no, Jax is bigger. So you're right. He would definitely, definitely <laughs> go for Jax. Not true. Kill the man that's not here. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, he's Get going him. to. Get him now. That would be the meme. So goes character dies the same day as internet dies. Jax's neck getting severed while his internet cables get severed. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, he's just gonna go for two rapier hits uh, on our boy Jax. First one is a 15 to hit. Does that hit? Nope. Second one is a 16 to hit. Nope. Both miss? All right. Oh, well, yeah, fucked. Uh, bandit number three whips out a crossbow and is going to. Oh, no, no, he's not. Bandit number three is going to invoke duplicity. Just and that? you see a uh, sixth bandit now just like appear in like the in the corner of the room. Um uh, Yeah, that's it. That's his turn. I mean if he does it in front of us, we we know which one's the real one, right? Well, if we weren't sure. distracted by heat of the moment battle, sure, ends. but there's but yeah. can still... you you see well you see him say something and suddenly a sixth bandit appears in the corner of the room, so you know you can draw your own conclusions okay. off that. Um, Brooks wouldn't know that's a fake. Bandit number four. I mean, has Daigon in front of him has allies also engage with Daigon, so is going to take advantage oh of the fact that he gets sneak attack and is just going to fucking try Bring and rape here you. Bring Ooh, that's natural 18, so that's uh, yeah, 20, that, that 24, 25 yeah, to hit. My armor class is 16, so yeah, you're good. You're good. Uh, what is damage die on rapier? D8. How much sneak attack do they get? 
46. 46? They could kill me in one hit. Oh no. So you take one plus four is five. 10, 12, 14, 17 points of piercing damage. That's including the uh, the sneak attack. Okey-dokey. And he's going to go for a second attack. Cheeky fucker. Uh, 18 to hit. Yep, that hits. Four... Nine points of uh, piercing damage. And that is his turn. I'm bloodied, pa. But it is not your turn, Daigon. Oh! Oh, I want to hit the fucker back. First, before... Any more of them move out because one of them from the initial five has left my immediate like little yes. cluster. Yes. So then I'm gonna spend a key point to pop out my arms, my spectral arms. I need all of the four around me to make a dexterity save to try and avoid my arms as they just whoosh, pop out. Uh, fwah. motherfucker, dude. Oh, and that is so far along my desk. I'm never gonna pick that up. <laughs> cool. Um, fourteen, twelve. And I roll two nat ones, so. Okay, the 14 saves. The rest take Ooh. six points of force damage. This one, f uh, which one fucked off? This one fucked off. One of rolled a 14. Oh, oh, the one who left. Yeah, so this one fucked off. This one made the save. So these three took six points of damage, you said? Yes, six points of force damage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Very good. And then the specifically the one that just hit me, I'm gonna try and skewer. So I stop the spinning of the spear now and go for a more focused, like thrust oh, yeah? stabby thing. Oh, that rolled out of the box. <laughs> uh that's shit. Uh, eleven. <laughs> eleven hits? Yeah. No. no, no, no At no. least the arms did some damage. <laughs> Alright. I mean you get two attacks, right? I do! I forget now, level five. Not mm -hmm. a lot better, but better. Uh, 16. Uh, I think that hits. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, 16 hits. Woo! Uh, eight points of piercing damage on that guy. Eight points of piercing. Alrighty. Is That's that your my turn? turn. Right. Yes, because I don't want to move because I'll take four opportunity attacks. Yeah. I mean, um, you did kind of throw yourself in the middle of them all, you know? I mean, I can next turn, I can get out of there if I have... I just use my bonus action this turn, but I can use Step of the Wind to disengage next turn if I really feel the need to. Mm -hmm. Dagon's bloodied. I think so, yes. yeah. Yes, I am. I'm going to rage. Go on. I'm going to... Got it. Um, I am going to walk into the group with Dagon. Of those that are there, who did the most damage to Dagon? Or appeared to? The one I just hit Ooh, back. Um... Let me think. Like, Because I'm thinking, like, how would you be able to tell? Because you see, you saw just four of them. Or three of two of which like attacked Daigon, and I guess after the final guy you saw hit Daigon, she started to look pretty fucking bloodied. So I, I guess that is how you could deduce which okay. one it was. Yeah, sure. I will move behind that guy. Okay. And punch him in the back of the head. All right, go for it. Uh, punch him into my spear blade. Oh no, because I have advantage. <laughs> uh, that's a nat twenty. Oh, okay. Spicy so that is. I'm glad I rolled that second one actually. Oh fucking. Has your suck has my your taint. like unarmed strike damage die gone up or no? No. So uh sorry, first attack is hand axe. Oh okay. But um it doesn't matter. Cause I rolled a one on the damage die. Nice. Hey, me too. For a total of uh eight points of slashing damage. Eight points of slashing damage at eight. And then Flurry of Blows. Go on. Uh, punch number one. A one and a two. So nine. No. Fuck this guy. Uh, 
punch number two. <laughs> Another natural 20. Okay, 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 okay. I went from a 1 and a 2 to a 17 and a 20. But now you need to roll another 1 on the damage tower. I mean, True. it's a d4, so instead of a d6, yeah. but it's a 4. Okay. So, uh, 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Your fist hits harder than the fucking hand axe. Smile. I mean, <laughs> hand axe is 1d6 <clears throat> plus 4 plus 2 because I'm raging. Mm -hmm. uh, this was four, double to eight, plus four to twelve, plus two. Yeah, it's funny because like you have a fucking hand axe and you, you like you like yeah, cut Brooks his clothing. Like swings the hand axe. You cut his clothing open and then you just fucking swings with the hand axe. Goes, and he just you eh. fucking shave his fucking skull in with a fucking yeah. with a fucking bare knuckle. I guess you're wearing the brass knuckles, right? Like technically. Uh, or is that, is yeah. that something that Brooks always has on because it's just like a flavor mm. thing, right? It doesn't really do anything. No, no, not always. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, is that your turn? Uh, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. That guy in front of me, is he looking fucked? Yeah, he's looking very bloodied. Okay. Is there any way that I can move to interpose myself between Daigon and some of the others? Um, because Daigon kind of positioned herself in such a way where she's like circled by them, you could make it so, like, you can block one of them. Okay. At a time. I will give up my flanking position to move and block one of them okay and if i have to move out of the melee range of any of them it doesn't matter because i flurry a blow so i get disengaged very cool very cool all right all right um cool 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 the lads are no longer invisible yep but behind the box uh, behind a box, true. The second one that also has a crossbow is... Let's see, he can cast spells, can't he? Oh, he fucking can. Is going cast to cast friends. Healing Word on the very injured looking ally, the one that you just start, started beating to a pulp, uh, Brooks. What a dick move. No, um, not allowed to heal. Don't do it. Healing mm -hmm. was pussy shit. No worries. Yeah, but it's, it's like a, it doesn't have to touch him, right? It's a ranged thing, so that's why it's pretty fucking pog. Uh, so he heals him for a bet. There we go. Um, healing was a bonus action, right? Uh -huh. Yes. He will then also whip out his crossbow and fire a bolt and Cass. Because why not? Ah, uh, 17 to hit Cass? Yep. Okay. Um You take seven points of piercing damage as you get like okay. hit by uh, by crossbow bolts and like the like one like it kind of Cuts through your like cuts cuts through like just like the side of your arm and just dig, 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 into into the wall next to you. Okay, <clears throat> my voice is beginning to go. Frick. Um, that is his turn. Uh, Kess, it is now your turn. Okay. Uh, Kess is going to uh, grab her vessel and mm -hmm. she's gonna cast Summon Shadow Spawn. What? She's sounds <laughs> cool. So as she's casting the spell. Um, she just be begins heaving great sobs and just absolutely losing it. Uh, her hair kind and her dress stop moving in that kind of phantom wind that you've grown accustom accustomed to and just falls flat. Um, and a shadow, shadowy figure that looks somewhat like a, um, a female elf uh, will be disfigured and kind of drooping in places, and with a tortured expression of deep sadness on her face, appears in uh, wherever is closest to get as many of them within five feet of it as possible. Uh, probably like by where uh, Daikon and Brooks are, because there's still four of them there, kind of like in a circle. Cool. Anyone that within five feet? sounds fucking badass. What the fuck? It's yeah. A reading uh, this shit sounds horrific. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Anything within five feet is slowed by 20 feet. Okay. Um, uh, until they start their next turn. And... Shit. Uh, right. 
for the duration of the spell, Kess is just sobbing. So Kess will just like break down and just like, not just like crying, but like sobbing. Yeah. Like un unconsolable. Uncontrollable. Moaning mortal type. Fucking yeah, like, right, right. And there's Moaning just like, wailing this like ghastly, goopy shadow lady just. just, just that sounds, that's fucking horrific. I'm here for it. It has else? a turn immediately after my uh, initiative. So for okay. its turn, it's going to use Dreadful Scream, and everything within 30 feet has to make a wisdom saving throw. Does it include allies? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, boys. Uh, wisdom saving throw? Uh, well, as we know yeah. from the Abolith fight, I'm real fucking good at wisdom. So that oh, would yeah. be, I mean, 30 feet, that would be pretty much anyone who's inside the barn, or inside the, the place. Yep. So, good luck. Yeah, that's pretty much everybody. Uh, Fuck it. Everybody, everybody all wisdom saves. Yeah. Yeah. I have a... a uh, Bell, is it a charm or like... Nah, something else. No. Okay, that's cool. Make sure I don't get... Like, I think I'm fine. There. I've got this. It's just like an effect, I think. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Oh my fucking god. I get what the charms fuck? And I can't be put just by magic. All so that was is for the baddies. I rolled three natural fours, oh, one hummus. natural three, and one nice. natural seven. So the highest is like nine. They all okay. fail. <laughs> I got what a seven. This you whole full pass the roll? Yes. Oh. Actually, yes. Nah, he's fine. I got a 26. You're fine. Brooks and Davin. And don't forget uh, to roll for Jax. True. I was just checking something in the rules whether or not I get advantage, but it's a subclass specific thing. Uh, well, Jax has got a natural one. Nice. He fails. Brooks has got <laughs> oh, a fourteen. He also fails. Davian, cool. Uh, everyone who fails is now frightened for a minute so of curious. the shadow spawn. Of the shadow specifically. Yeah. Yeah. So just but not don't the look baddies. at the shadow. So you can still approach the baddies, just not her shadow. Well, well technically, only if the baddies no, aren't no, no, no. in the direction of the shadow, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. if they're right? the same because like if it's like line. shadow here baddies right in front of her you know what i mean like you wouldn't go close to the baddies because that would also bring you close to yeah the, yeah to, yeah to the thing you're fair, fair 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 jack's peas a little <laughs> oh, is it from all age five of the bandits just like start screaming just like ah! what the fuck is going on <laughs> cats is just sobbing in the background this wasn't here the last three you wouldn't well, download a car doing? Panic, panic induced terror. Um, all right, is that uh, fucking Moni Myrtle's turn? Moni yep. Myrtle? Yep. All right, Jax. Not unnerving at all. No. <clears throat> it is my new favorite spell. That's fucking badass, yeah. Ethan. Jax, I mean, Jax is terrified. Yeah. Um, Jax was at the door. Mm -hmm. Where is the shadow in relation to Jax and the bandits? Like, right in front of him, essentially. Okay, so any attack he makes is going to be a disadvantage. Is that so? If you're frightened of something and it's in your line of sight, you get disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Attacks. Then, yeah. So I guess he's just going to look at the bandit that Brooks fucked up. Just cheese it, bro. <laughs> Cast magic missile. And magic missile. <laughs> yep, there it is. Can't miss. No disadvantage if you don't have to roll. Uh, this guy was blooded, right? Uh, so yes. First level. Still is technically, even though he got healed a little bit. Okay. Uh, three darts. Uh, three. Eight. Twelve points of force damage. Twelve points. Oh boy. Yeah. So these like three colored like darts just like appear around uh i forget how soko like flavors his magic missile does he have like a little arm, like, a little arm thing just like yeah. yeah he has a little he has a tony stork wrist cannon right 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 so like three of these like glowing darts shoot out and just <laughs> uh and yeah this guy is looking fucking rough he's been uh, he's been the victim of a lot of <laughs> a lot of should have used second level uh yeah Anything else for Jax? Is that it? Um, I don't think he can do much else. I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, actually, he'll use his defensive field as part of his armor to gain five temporary hit points. All right. Since Elastrian hasn't used the dome. Okay. Uh, let me go back to the top of the initiative. Uh, Bandit numero uno, the one who has a spiritual weapon up, is going to use a spiritual weapon as a bonus action to take a jab at uh, Davian again. Oh, fucking... Uh, 17 to hit? Yeah, that hits. What is this? Wait, I forgot how much damage the first one did. You said it was max damage, and I, did, I never noted it down. 12. 12, okay. Because yeah. uh, this one, I rolled one under max, so that would be 11 points of damage. Force okay. damage, specifically. And he's going to have to make a dexterity saving throw as he is once again engulfed in flames. You're going to just shit. reaction... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm hellish rebuking him again. Yeah, fuck, fuck it. Guy. Your reaction is... Yeah, the, the reaction is replenished on your turn, right? So uh, you use yeah. it before your turn. Therefore, you have it back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, deck save? Yep. It's a natural one. <laughs> 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage? Yeah. Do you hear this, like scream as once again Davian's eyes like glow orange and this like embery fiery glisten that he kind of has around him now like glows in more intense and brighter and you can swear for a second his hair kind of like starts to starts to like spark a bit and you see this like swirl of fire just surround the enemy you hear a very loud scream and then nothing Spiro's weapon disappears, the fiery vortex subsides, and you just see a charred, uh, just a charred, blackened orbs that just whoosh, pff, falls to the ground. Nice. Fucked. Get fucked. Yeah, you got fucking roasted and toasted. Holy shit. Okay. And now it's my turn. <laughs> now it is your turn. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, Didn't even get to finish his turn, you prick. <laughs> how many left standing? Uh, Four. And are they all within 10 feet of each other? Uh, yeah. Yes, they are. How... Wh wh whichever is the most beat up, that's the one I'm shooting at. But yeah, I'm gonna gonna fire my bow as uh, the the uh, Tears of Custody's kind of light up and like embers and sort of fiery streaks from my eyes and the pendant sort of swirl around the arrowhead. Uh, and that's a natural 17. Mm-hmm. So a 25 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Um, as I use Imbue Elemental Power. Ooh. So he's going to take an additional D8 damage. And then I need all of the other hostiles also to make dexterity saving throws. Okay. Um, as like, as the arrow strikes that him and cool. like fingers of flame sort of dive out from where the arrow impacts at him and so the, strike them as the well. the one that you're shooting the bow at doesn't have to do a deck save, but the, his allies do. Because I guess... No, he doesn't make a deck one, save, yeah, but the allies Because I guess do, that's, yeah. you know, your attack roll determines that, yeah. and then, yeah, okay. Uh, 18, 14, 7. Okay, so he takes... six points of damage, and two points of that is fire damage. Okay. And then the rest take... Wait, one of them failed, so he takes six damage. Okay. And the other two take three damage. Okay. Uh, the one that you, like, impact with the arrow, you just, like, arrow lands, like, in his, like, throat. Fire starts to jump out, and he just, like, pulls the arrow out and just slumps down. <laughs> Dead. Um, so, yeah, that's another one down. There's three more. Uh... All still looking relatively okay, though. So, okay. Th yeah, those two are fucking... Did. It's that's Frick! New, that's my new class ability, guys. Oh! Uh, is that your turn? Hmm. Okay. No, wait. Oh. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. You... Onus action. Onus flying down. And did you he's also gonna... fail the, sa the saving throw, by the way? Wait, did I have to make a saving throw as well? Yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. everyone. Earlier, oh, the shit. frightened one. Oh, yeah, wisdom save. Well, I definitely just did. I rolled a fucking four. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my but god. But you failed. Like, I don't know because he hasn't he hasn't moved closer because he shot. He's ranged. No, attack. but That's if fine. he's looking, fun. if it's within yeah, his so line, he would have had disadvantage on the on the uh, uh, on the bow attack. Oh god. Okay, hold on. So, let's see. Oh, I rolled an uh, an eleven, which comes to nineteen total. So. Yep. So that, yeah. Still so hit. that would still hit. So okay. it's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. Uh, does only need to make a save? Oh no! Yeah, technically yes. Uh, yeah. Any creature within the range, right? Uh, I, 
13, which I think is a 15 for him. Then he saves. Okay. If it's 15. Oh, no, not uh, scared. Of the sky, wisdom, uh, yeah, plus two. So, yeah, he saves. Okay. Cool. He's good. All right. So, yeah, Onu is going to swoop down on the guy that took six damage. The guy who took the most damage from the little fiery okay. fingers. And he's going to go for a little, a little swipe. It's a... 16 to hit? It's beautiful. 4, 1d4, plus 3, plus 3. So, 8 points of slashing damage as Very he nice. comes down, talons and beak flying all over. Nice. Oh, by the way, the one that cast, uh, like, that used Invoke Duplicity uh, has died, so that, like, clone that appeared in the corner of the room also just disappears. Didn't even get to use okay. it. Prick. Alright. Good Good is that your turn? That's sir? my turn. Yes. Very good. As Onu sort of swoops down and then flies back up. Wait, uh, Hawthorn. Uh, it's gonna shoot the one, the one of them. <laughs> I nice. don't know which one. Just pick a number: one, two, or three. Three. There you go. All right. <laughs> uh. Uh. Twelve. Is not hit. <laughs> Hawthorne Yay. still sucks. All right. <laughs> he's, just, he's just getting back into it. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly, exactly. Is that a turn? Yeah. A Lazarin. Good. I will, uh, as an action, third level cast uh, Blindness Ooh. on whichever two look the healthiest at the moment. Okay. Um, so they need to make Constitution saving throws. Con saves. Let's see what their con is. Uh, it's a 19 and an 8. The 8 fails, the 19 passes. Mm -hmm. um, so they're now blinded. And then whichever one's blinded, I'm just going to fuck it. Whack it with my spiritual weapon as a bonus action. Go on. All the nunchucks of uh, Joaquin. Uh, that is a. Uh, that is a fifteen to hit. Just hits. Just here. Oh, hog. Minimum damage six points of damage. Six points of damage. Alrighty. Anything else? Uh, that'll be my turn. I'll say, uh, yeah. Huh? That's my turn. Okay, okay. That mic, like, Opti's mic is very, like, yeah, you really yeah. have to, like, talk yeah. directly in it, or it's really yeah, hard yeah. to hear. Um, and we all know he's really good at that. <laughs> I'm true. so good at that, guys. I'm definitely audio uh, nightmare. Uh, one of the bandits is scared shitless, because there's just this, like, goopy, crying lady right next to him. He, <laughs> I love this spell so much. I kind of hate it. I actually really hate it. I love it. It's creepy, dude. So it's he terrifying. just dispel magic on it. No. He is going to cast. Yeah, he's going to cast Call Emotions. Oh. Because uh, he does have that. And he can eat humans in a 20 foot radius. So. Oh, he has to include us, though. Yeah, but like at least he can include all of his allies, though. So like he'll he'll probably do that. So he's gonna cast calm emotions. Uh, you can choose to fail the save, which just means you're not fighting anymore. Yeah, but do we know that that's what he's casting? I guess I don't know. Yeah, he, you see him casting a spell. You see him muttering some words, doing some like gestures. Will twenty foot radius cover everyone? Uh, it'll cover everyone that's like in that. In that like middle like part, so like Daigon, Brooks, the bandits, um, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wasn't that Elasm wasn't wasn't scared, right? No, I was good. no. But it doesn't matter because it's still it's a charm effect anyway, so it will make us like thingy power emotions. Mm -hmm. Care is a is a charming effect as well as its other one. So yeah, I guess it's a charm in the sense that it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Camel Oceans Great. isn't a charm effect in and of itself. But you it's can... simply... Yeah. But obviously, it's up to DM whether we would know what this is, or we would. Yeah, just... I don't think I don't think you would like know exactly. Oh, you just know he's casting a spell. That's what you know. So, like, so then you can make a target naturally... indifferent about creatures of your choice that is hostile towards. That's alternatively, the, he can only uh, choose one effect for that. Yeah, he's going. He, his goal is to chance, make it so that him and the, him him and the boys are no longer scared. That is his goal. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. okay. So, um. I guess Brooke and Dagon, of course, are going to attempt to make Jax, I assume. He's probably Jax isn't in melee. Oh, he isn't. Oh, he's not, is he? No, no, I am. If he centers it in such a way to get the boy that's in front of Jax, then it depends, but... Um, so... It's a charisma saving throw? Yes. 21. I mean, yeah, that makes a save. Uh, four. Five four? minus one. Okay, so those who fail this, this is so backwards, but those who fail the save are no longer scared. Those who make the save, still scared. <laughs> yeah, I the mean, one time I, I wasn't scared wrong. to begin with, so it didn't really oh, matter for go. me yeah, either it doesn't way. Matter then. But... Um, like, obviously, so really, the, obviously only the boys benefited. choose to fail because they know what's, what's, going, yeah. they know what's going on. So the, the bandits are no longer scared. Great. Alrighty. Wonderful. Uh, and that Good is going to guess. be his turn. Uh, bandit number three is fucking blind, but does vaguely remember there being two people in his space to fucking swing his rapier at, so he's just going to try and uh, have a jab at Brooks with his advantage because he's blind. Good. Um, his advantage makes that a 14 to hit. Uh, no. He's gonna try again. His advantage makes that a 16 to hit. Uh, no. There you go. That is his turn. I bumped um, my con, which bumps my AC. True, true, true. Daigon. Get up. Okie dokie. There's, there's three left. Yeah. Are one all of three of them still in, like, reachable, or just two? No, all three are still, like, in your, in your, spe okay, in, your okay. in your fucking aura. Um... I'll go for the one that was just swinging at Brooks, I guess. Okay. Um, oh, it keeps, like, hovering over big numbers and then rolls to the smaller numbers. That's a 16 to hit the first one. 15? 16. 16 hits, yeah. Okay. Um, For seven points of damage with my spear, piercing damage. Kidoki. And then the second attack is 24 to hit. Yup. For five, no, six points of piercing damage. Okie dokie. And then... See, I feel like we're doing okay. And Brooks is here now, and one of them is blind. So I don't think I'm going to disengage. I think I'll spend a key point for a flurry of blows. Okay. And while I'm stabbing with the spear, my spectral arm's gonna come in for a jab-jab on the same guy. Heck yeah. So the first one, ooh, that's not great. 13. Isn't it? All right, second jab. Fuck, that's even worse. What is the key point? It's a natural two. So that's no. nine. Miss. Yikes. I'm off with my spectral aim, man. <laughs> Say a turn. Yeah, because I don't want to move and invoke. Even though they're blind, I want to invoke opportunity attacks. Okay, Brooks is here now. We can do the cool badass back-to-back -back thing, fighting True. dudes. It is not Brooks' turn, so. As long as one of us doesn't face... as. Can I? I mean, fuck. Who's left, right? Bitch, you healed. Uh, no, uh, bitch, you healed. Died. Okay. There's one uh, bandit looking very fucking rough. The one that uh, that Daigon just uh, dicked on. And there's two that are still looking pretty like you know, okay. Okay. The one Except for one of them, one of them kind of if kind of like looking around because he's blind. But other than that. Are any of them in a position where I could fight them without looking at the shadow creature? Also, which ones am I able to get in melee with without you moving closer to the shadow creature? Because yeah. Kester's fucked me and only yeah. me. The one Daigon is fighting, and there is one already like in melee with you. The blind um, one. Hmm? The blind one's in melee with me. Yeah. So those two are reachable. The, the other one, like the, the the final one, is like closer towards scary goop lady. So you would technically not be able to go there because you're frightened still. Okay. Blind man. 
Can mm -hmm. I move around him such that I'm not looking at Scary Goop Lady? Not without getting closer to Scary Goop Lady. <laughs> I can't go around the other side? Okay. No, because, like, Goop Lady is, like, adjacent oh, but... to this, like, oh. group of, of, of bad boys, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, that makes... Shut up. <laughs> Is Scary Goop Lady in my line of sight while I'm fighting Blind Man? Yeah, probably. Okay, well, he's blind, so I have advantage, so that cancels out. So that cancels out. out, yeah, true. So, I guess, <clears throat> hand axe to the face for Blind Man. Go on. You know what? Uh oh I'm going to stow the hand axe, <laughs> and use my fist, and attempt to be non-lethal. Oh. Okay. Uh, 18. Hits. Uh, three. Nine points of bludgeoning damage. Nine, okay. He's still up. Yes, sir. A flurry of blows. Okay. Uh, 16. Hits. Nine points of bludgeoning damage. Not eight. Is he still up? Yes. Second strike to the face. Mm -hmm. uh, 21. It's 21. Seven points of bludgeoning damage. Seven points. Looking pretty rough. Not quite out of it yet, but uh, you've... Yeah, he's, 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 he's looking a, a bit... He's, he's blind. He's like stumbling a bit now because you've just been just just fucking. <laughs> he's yeah, he's not looking too good. He's a bitch. True. Is that your turn? Um, that um, scary goop lady is perpendicular to the bandits. Pretty much, yeah. So I can't move closer to guy number three. Correct. I can't reposition around guy number one. Correct. Fuck yeah, I'll stay where I am, I guess. Okay. Uh, alrighty, so that's your turn. The you bandits. can throw the save again. Oh, oh at the end of my turn? Mm-hmm. There you go. Natural 20. No you are scared. fine again. Alrighty, uh, bandit in front of Daigon is just gonna rape your owl. gonna try to fucking jabs with that. Bring it uh, on. That went from a natural 20 to a natural fucking 2. <laughs> so that's hey, a fucking hit. baby. Second one is a natural 15 plus, yeah, so that's 20 odd. 20, 22 yeah, hits. to hit. That hits. So you take uh, 5 plus 4, 9 points of piercing damage. Okie dokie. Wait. Um, no, it doesn't get sneak attack because the guy that he was, like, kind of with. Uh, against you has perished. So that is his turn. Uh, Kess. Uh, Kess is gonna uh, send two the two beams of Eldritch Blast at the guy that cast Calm Emotions. That's <laughs> fucked up. So like you ruined it. That's fucked up. This guy's there magically like, hey guys, let's just chill. <laughs> She's is just like, catching Eldritch Blast. Time to get the Eldritch Block out. Whoa. <laughs> the Eldritch uh, Block, dude. Okay, dokie. Yeah, that will roll your first stack. 24. That hit. And that is... 13. 13 points of damage. Force damage, yeah. So that is a con save to see if... Uh, yeah. Makes a save, so calm emotions remains up. Cool. But you have a second beam of Elder's Blast that you can throw at him, though, so... Do I roll for that? Yeah, just like a roll a second attack. Okay, cool. That was a 21. 21 also hits, yep. Roll damage. And... Woo, six force damage. Six force damage? Yep. Yeah, natural 20 on the fucking save there. So call emotions is still up. As you uh, just like cool. normally when you when we see Kess cast Elders Blast, it's just one like big beam. It's just like now Kess kind of like 
chucks two beams, uh, not at once, but like very rapidly, one after the other, just and the impact kind of like put like as it like impacts in this in this man's torso, kind of like pushes him him back like a foot, just like over over the ground because of the just the the weight behind the the, the force, um, the, the the forceful impact. I guess. Oh, and also two uh, thunder. No, three thunder. There's three now. Okay. I wouldn't have made a difference for the save, so okay, cool. Cool. Uh, and then she's gonna command uh, the shadow spawn, because that's not an action. Mm -hmm. uh, to use Chilling Rend to attack the same guy. <laughs> oh god, okay. Chilling Rend? Which is basically a melee attack roll. Okay, yeah, go for it. Woo! Oh, hell yeah. 18 plus... That hits. That hits. Cool. It would have been 22. Um, and 1d12. D12? Damn! Yeah. He also has 35 HP. Wow! Oh! It's, it's what? That's, that's, that's sick! <laughs> it's so cool! <laughs> if I cast fuck? it at higher levels, I get extra HP. It's um, fucking dope. 12 plus... It's more HP than the last one. So. Legitimately. <laughs> 14, uh, 15, 16, 17. 17? Yeah. Oh, he's dead. So this, like, shadowy, goopy, sad lady just turns to face one of the bandits and just, just, like, with one, like, swipe of this, like, weird, weirdly, like, shaped arm just claws open this man's throat as he is just, like, focusing on the, on the calm motion spell and just suddenly the spell drops and he just slumps forward and just bleeds out uh, and all that remains is one bandit that is blind and looking bloodied and then the one in front of Diagon who was also bloodied <laughs> um is that your turn and is that goop yeah. lady done yep cool She's it's Jax's that. turn uh um <clears throat> uh, <laughs> See, the problem I have is Brooks wanted to non-lethal these people. Mm -hmm. So my immediate instinct was There's as still Jax two was, to, left. was to non-lethal them. Mm -hmm. Would Jax do that, do we think? Or would Jax just off them? I feel like with three of them being already being dead, I feel like Jax would have just... I, I don't think non-lethal is something that would pop Magic into Jax's mind. Magic second level, two to each of them. He's a pirate. Pirates kill people. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't think Jax would be the one that's like, oh, oh, oh non-lethal, these, these guys. Uh, six like, points of force damage to the blind guy. Six points of force damage to the blind guy? Okay. Uh, eight points of force damage. Oh, sorry, no. Six points of force damage on the other guy. Dude, they're both hanging on by a fucking thread. <laughs> okay, is that Jax's turn? Uh, yes. Alright, uh, Davian. Oh, uh, it's just the two of them. Yeah, and they both look fucked, dude. Eldritch Blast. I mean, does Davian hey. want to non-lethal them, though? One at each. <laughs> one at each? Nope, right. doesn't look like it. Go on, lad. Does that mean I roll for each one? Yeah, just roll two separate attack rolls, yeah. Am I, I with disadvantage still, because I'm scared? Uh... One you, normal, wait, wait. At the end of your last turn, you could have tried to break out of the save, but you didn't, which... At the end of my last turn? Yeah, so yes. you, you have one, like, try to break it out to see if you would have broken out of the fear last turn. Natural one. Okay, nope. so yeah, you oh, are still, still scared, scared, so you have disadvantage, yeah. Okay, so... Wait, uh, do, do range attacks have advantage on blinded? I think all attacks have advantage on blinded, possibly. So one of the rolls would be disadvantage, one of them would be a straight roll, because the advantage cancels out the disadvantage. Right, like it flat is evens out. Yeah, makes sense. Because one guy is blind. Because one guy yeah. is blind, so one attack roll, the attack against the blind guy will be a normal roll. The other one is a disadvantage. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, oh god, come on! And the disadvantage I rolled a six and then an eighteen, so, <laughs> uh, seventeen on the first one and then eleven on the second. Uh, first one hits. So, he's just gonna take this flat D ten damage. He takes seven points of force damage. Yeah, you just 
fire one of your Eldritch Blasts, which is like this orangey color, and it just blows a hole in this blinded guy's chest, mm -hmm. dude. Just blows a hole straight through it, and he just... And that le just leaves the one guy who, like, looks around, sees all of his boys are dead, oh, and... No, Onu's coming down to finish oh, him off. Oh, shit! True! No! Yeah. Onu gonna get the final kill. Can Onu do it non-lethally? I mean... And you can you can any close. attack you could if you vocalize he I want to do this lethally you can yeah he can beak him in the head to knock him yeah like just just, just like once. Him with the yeah. beak All right let's see yeah. if he even hits beak him oh twenty two to hit that hits mm -hmm. what's the min um, minimum damage Onu can do minimum damage is one plus two plus three so six, six. yeah he has two HP so he okay. just... all right <laughs> Onu so comes Onu comes in. down sort of like talons on his shoulders <laughs> and just like whacks him on the top of the noggin <laughs> with his beak and just kind of drags him down to the floor all right so one of the one guy just goes just slumps down uh, unconscious the rest are very dead but before we have a, you have a chance to look around and see what's going on i think we'll end it there and we'll pick this up uh all right next week. okay so I'm a warlock, baby! We have one non yeah so yeah make a note of that that one of them is, is unconscious yep. on the floor yeah, yeah we'll pick this up next week for you to finish out this uh, quest and i guess do the final prep for oh, your yeah. trip to uh silverkeep so you good uh, and you'll be back so in the UK. Okay. All right. Woo. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for playing. Thanks so much for the for the for the raid. Lawful stupid. Yeah, yeah. that raid was awesome. Appreciate Dang it. it uh, Forgotten Nightwolf. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate yous very very much. Uh, is Ask it the raid hype on to Dicely? I was gonna say, is else? it a is it a Dicely night tonight? It is a Dicely day. They are live. All right, beautiful. Then we'll uh, go. I believe I saw in their Discord or I saw in somewhere. See if they are live right now. They are. They are probably live right now. It's uh, it's just actually D and D one word, right? Yeah, dicely. D &D. Yeah, yeah. I always like is there underscores and no Wait. underscore. Oh, I typoed. That's my bad. Huh. All right, so we're gonna pass the love over to our friends at the uh, Play Dicely Gang Gang. They're phenomenal role players. Denny is a phenomenal DM. Uh, has been a, a guest on on this channel in the past as well during uh, during a one shot uh, a witcher one shot which was super fun so show them some love uh great great group of people amazing fucking D, &D players and, and and role players all around uh and we love them so you're forced to love them too <laughs> let them know we sent you and um keep an eye out on uh for the uh ds discord regarding uh dungeon discourse because i'm pretty much almost done with like what i want to do or going forward with it so keep an eye on keep an eye, keep an eye, for, that. Keep an eye for that i've been working on it behind the scenes um yeah thanks for watching everybody peace out see you later Bomb bomb bomb. Let's now slowly like fade out. Just like.